Hey everyone, you're listening to the official podcast of 4PlayerNetwork.com. Check us out at that address for everything you need to know about our community, monthly giveaways, and nightly live streams. You can even support us on Patreon at patreon.com slash 4player. And last but not least, you can catch the live recordings of these podcasts every single Thursday night on our Twitch channel. We hope to see you there. Enjoy. everyone welcome to episode 509 of four player podcast the you said official kind of like a vampire nick <laughs> good evening good, <laughs> good evening <laughs> welcome to my abode my name is nick henderson i am to my right this evening is brad simons good evening nick <laughs> nolan headstrom what up <laughs> christopher davis how y'all doing son oh my god oh man. no <laughs> start this butts. podcast over what the hell was that Cri- <laughs> <laughs> Crispy will be joining us soon. He's, he is on his way. This is our first podcast recording from a completely different venue. We are now set up shop. We have new digs. We are recording live from Nolan's house. How does it feel, Nolan, to not have to get in your car and drive to the podcast every week? It's really weird. I can I can change into whatever I want before the podcast. You know, it's 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 not, it's not the same level because I feel I feel like I still do have to drive a ways to get here. Yeah, but it's on the way back from work. So I literally, I can stop at home, I can shower, I can change, and then I can come. It's great. It's great. I'm loving it. Cool. I'm loving it. Brad, how do you feel? How, how, how was your commute today? Well, this was the first time Ever. I've never <laughs> not hosted the podcast. And, Ever. Uh, but it was fun. I mean, I'm, I'm driving my wife's car, so I'm not putting miles on mine, so who gives a <laughs> shit? <clears throat> oh, man. I hope yeah. she doesn't watch this podcast. Well, well I mean... I didn't just steal it from her. <laughs> well, what's she gonna do? She's pregnant. Yeah, we're ev- <laughs> stop you. <laughs> we're eventually gonna move up north, uh, probably next year. So yeah, so Shouldn't it all too bad. works out. Mm. Uh, so as we, so for mm. as I was saying before, we actually hit record. I'm gonna just kind of go back mm. over this. We're gonna. It's been kind of a light week for us. We haven't been playing a lot of stuff in our in our personal lives. Whatever. There's not a whole lot of news to discuss. There's a few things. Um, so we're going to try something a little bit new this, this week. This is the first podcast where Nolan oh, hey, hasn't worn socks. I he, know. It's going to make footsies that much more interesting. A very important game day <laughs> Interesting or today. creepy? I mean, I, I'll probably wear socks on the regular. It's just more of a... Before I came here, I had to go to my, my old place, which the, my lease ends tomorrow. So I had to mow the lawn. Yeah. Uh, and so I was, I was like, gross, and I came home and showered. So, well, which, Thank you yeah. for that. It's good for clicks. Good for views. The feet? Yeah. The, the feet people. The feet people, fetish people. Yeah, people yeah. Like, no, the weird, that the gets weird them folks. Hot. The weird folks, as I like to call hey. them. Uh, oh my god, he's waving to people with his toes. All right. Um, so what we're gonna do? I'm gonna open with feedback, obviously, because we have some we have some great comments from our last podcast. I'm gonna read through those. But after that, this first segment is gonna be a little weird, a little wild. We are going to try to have a free form conversation with the people that are listening and watching us live as we record this on Twitch. Twitch.tv slash 4 podcast or 4PP.TV is where you can watch the show live every week. Which, by the way, this is, this is something worth mentioning right now. In July, in the month of July, just for the month of July, we're actually going to be moving the podcast to a different night. Which, which we, night, Nick? Wednesday. We I think. know. I think it's, I, <laughs> we haven't decided. When, I think Wednesday is what we agree. I think Wednesday mm-hmm. is what we're leaning towards. I'm fighting for Fridays, but that's just me. You are the only one fighting for Fridays. You will Fridays. lose that fight. Sorry. So sorry. Brad literally can't do Friday. Yeah. I mean, after July. <laughs> oh, after July. Oh, wow. Well, no. You're no. talking about like permanently moving to Fridays? Yeah. Yes. We, we used to do Fridays. We did Fridays. Mm. And we've done Mondays and we've done Wednesdays and we've done like. We've done every we day did, but the yeah. weekend. We did Tuesdays. I'm not, I'm not opposed to Have we to done Fridays, Sundays? But... Sundays? Yeah. Have we ever done Sundays? Yeah, I think probably for a little bit. I mean, I am sure we have recorded a podcast on a Sunday. No, not like just once. I'm talking about on the regular. Let's do daytime on Sunday. Reborn, I'm a lonely person. I that's why I advocate on Friday. Yes, sure. Let's go with that. I'm I'm gonna advocate for keeping my Friday nights as is. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. Just the point of me bringing this up at all was that for the month of month of July, we're going to be doing this on a different night. We will let everybody know what it's gonna be. It's probably gonna be Wednesday. Just putting that out there. Just for four weeks, though. Just for four weeks. July. But, four week podcast. As I was saying, we're going to have a free form conversation with the people watching us live tonight. We're just going to have y'all give us t- 
inspired topic ideas, questions, whatever. We'll respond to you guys as you bring stuff up in chat. It's going to be a very interactive night. Should be fun. Should be an interesting little experiment. I hope this goes well. I hope it's not a train wreck. It but, can't uh, possibly be a train wreck when we have such a lovely community. Exactly. You know what's funny, Brad? Every time I look at you on the screen, because like right now, I'm, so I'm looking. First of all, the TV is never like this is the biggest time, biggest TV we've ever had in the room with us, so we can watch footage and whatnot. I, I'm your mustache is just like <laughs> distracting the shit out of me. Like I can't even tell you have a beard. Why it just looks like you have a, like a uh, fucking because of the shadow. You just have a wild mustache on the screen, is what it looks it's like. Like snidely whiplash here, curling his mustache. I mean, are you gonna curl that thing? You should it's, get some mustache. Yeah, wax. I need to get some wax. Yeah, I need to like, go for that maximum bit, hips, yeah. hipster look, huh? Yeah, go for it. That'd be great. I'm going for you, Simon. Sam. Exactly. So, anyways, uh, like I, I said, much bigger. I'm gonna open up the show with comments or feedback from our last uh, last podcast episode. Uh, reminder: We do giveaways every single month. Uh, if you would like to enter in the giveaway, all you have to do is retweet the podcast when the when the uh, post goes up every week, or you can leave us a comment uh, or some feedback about the episode on the site at fourplayernetwork.com. We will read your feedback at the beginning of every episode, and doing so enters you in the drawing every month. Um, it's that simple. And if you listen to the show, why not do it? Yeah. So our first bit of feedback this week comes from Tobley. Tobley. By the way, last week we talked about uh, Nex Machina, and uh, I talked a little bit about Nier with Crispy. That was weird. And Beyond Good and Evil 2, I think, was kind of the highlight of last episode. I think there's quite a few comments here in regards to that conversation. Um, he says, The Beyond Good and Evil 2 uh, as a sequel discussion slash argument was interesting. How does it not directly build on the original in terms of story or structure made me think of Prey 2017, oh, which has an even more tenuous connection to the franchise it was attached to? Yeah, but that wasn't trying to be a sequel. No, yeah, it's, 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 it's I think, a, or a prequel. I think what makes this particular instance strange is that, well, I guess Prey was kind of the same way. I was no, thinking this is the like, same director. No, this is called Beyond Good and Evil Two. Yeah. This is they're saying yeah, it's a prequel. It's, it's I, a prequel. I was going the route of like Beyond Good and Evil was literally an. When was that first trailer released? Two thousand eight. Like it, yes, it was like ten years ago. Yeah. So like the game has existed in some form for ten years, and then they literally like changed it. And released it in the last like year before it came out, and it's totally different, which is kind of a strange thing. Like the first one was actually uh, the first time Prey Two came out, it was going to be like a straight up sequel to mm -hmm. Prey One, and then it ended up being and it was absolutely be nothing like it at all. Mirror's Edge Two, fucking bounty hunter, mm -hmm. sweet ass, amazing mm -hmm. game. Was what it was going to be. Yeah, mm -hmm. let it go. Mm -hmm. It's over with. It, it is over. Dead. With. It is over and dead. But you know what? What we got was pretty damn good hey, too. We've yet to get a Prey Two. We still could. We're going to get... The funny thing is we're going to get a Prey 2. Oh, all, all this is going to we'll start We'll talk over. about that later in the news. <laughs> yeah, that, I don't that think was we're getting a Prey topic. 2. Yeah. I didn't hear about that. You're really going to tie that to like one person leaving the studio? Well, it was an important, important person. Yeah, but you, yeah. they're going to replace them with somebody else? What are you talking about? No, I'm not... I'm just saying. It's like, oh no, their, their leader has left. He has departed. What are we going to do now? Well, we can't replace him. I mean, it's probably... I that doesn't kill. Every... That doesn't kill. It's a games. bad sign. We'll talk about it later. It also could have been a personal choice on his part. It, he claims it was. Uh, we'll so, talk about it later. Anyways, we'll talk about that in the second segment. But Beyond Good and Evil Two is especially divisive because, like Brad said, same same creator as the original, uh, and people were expecting something. Just like this was just like, this is so ambitious that it makes people concerned. For whether it's even, one, if it's even going to come out, and two, if it comes out, is it even going to be the, si the same like game that I loved? Um, also, uh, oh god, thank you, Nolan. You made me, f you Sorry. made me lose my thought. I just realized there's no fucking lights on in the house, and Crispy's gonna come over, and like front porch light isn't on. So. Oh, he's gonna be spooked, he's gonna be scared. All right, uh, if I if I think of that thought, I'll bring it back up. Um, Riceball says, and this is, I actually don't know what he's alluding to in this comment. I'll see if y'all do. He says, really? Alexander Graham Pone? What, what, what is he talking about? Y'all know what he's talking about? I don't know. I think know. it's a reference to Carlos, maybe? I think I saw Riceball. Because he's Edgar Allan Pone? Yeah. I think I saw Riceball in chat. He can clarify in chat if he'd like. Um, oh, by the way, Cleft, I'm going to just kind of start, I'm going to start practicing this freeform thing here. Cleft in chat says, I am not disappointed Beyond Good and Evil 2 is radically different. I am disappointed they are going down the procedurally ge generated trap. Oh, that's what I was going to say. Thank you, Cleft. I was going to say 
Do you think the concern would be as prevalent in a, if, if No Man's Sky did not exist? Um, I think maybe we'd be a little more excited. It still wouldn't... I mean, Star Citizen's a part of this, too. Um, but, like, yeah. Star Citizen... At this point, the only thing we have to go off is the only game that is, that has appeared to be as as um, ambitious as this, like kind of in the same way, has been No Man's Sky, and that was and that came out, and it was well, kind and, of a... And Star Citizen, which is in... But that's not out yet. Exactly. <laughs> But like, it's like the super I mean, ambitious like, space game. Like Minecraft is procedurally generated, and that w- if you think about that game, it's hold on, pretty fucking ambitious. Hold on, I mean, sure. There's a lot more you can do in Minecraft than you could even do in No Man's Sky when it came out. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I mean, Minecraft you could like literally do pretty much anything. No Man's Sky you could fly to a planet and you know mine some shit and then fly to another planet and mine, but you couldn't really do a whole lot with the shit you mine. Yeah. I think I King Carey asked another good question. Would you? But would you be more excited if that original J- Beyond Good and Evil two teaser with Oma Jade didn't even exist? I mean, like if this just came out of blue and it was like this was Beyond Good and Evil two ten years later, or even more than ten years I mean, at this point. I don't and mind it was like that they're knew. like different characters. I don't mind that it's not the same as that old teaser. I mean, that's a game that just didn't get made. It got canceled. Um, this just seems my problem is it just doesn't. It seems overly ambitious. And it doesn't resemble Beyond Good and Evil. And we had this conversation last Yeah, week. we had this conversation. Yeah. But, I mean, this is feedback. I, I just don't believe the hype. And that we're going to get it in the next five years. I don't. Yeah, that I, I don't believe <laughs> that we're going to get it in the next five years. And if we do, it's going to be nowhere near what they're claiming it's going to yeah. be. Um, our next uh, bit of feedback comes from Ellie. She says... I am new to this podcast. I started with the E3 episodes, and though I like them very much, you have definitely won me over with this episode. Hmm. Um, I absolutely absolutely loved the discussion you had about Beyond Good and Evil 2, and I love how you all have very different likes and preferences. I am very much looking forward to future episodes, and in the meantime, I will listen to some old ones. Awesome. Hey, Does it, Joel know you're listening to podcasts? <laughs> that was the last of his joke. Oh, nice. Oh. Nice. If you are in chat, I know we asked for feedback and questions. Hold on to them. For now. Yes. Because we're not going to be able to address them necessarily right now, right this second, and we're probably just going to miss what you said. Yeah, but I, but I will re- reiterate. I've seen a few people kind of come into the come into chat since I, since I made that first announcement. We're going to yeah. be having kind of a free-form conversation with chat once I get through feedback. So if you have any t- things you want to hear our, our opinions about, topics, uh, questions you may have, hold on to them. We will get to them. Unless you're responding directly to something maybe we're saying in feedback that you can get out quickly. Um Yes. Anyways, thank you for listening, Ellie. We appreciate the uh, the kind words. In fact, these comments these are the kinds of comments that make the whole thing worth it. Um, the Scud Destroyer says, "I think the rans- the ransom theory on Beyond Good- Beyond Good and Evil Two is spot on. It's like, hey, it's like quote unquote, hey, make all this do- all this dog shit and sell lots of copies, and maybe you can do this project that you want to do." I think he's talking about uh, how. Michelle Ray and Sam had to do Rayman. Yeah. Or Rabbids. Which, Rabbids, to be specific. Yeah. Well, he, Rabbids yeah, began, he, he was became a huge-ass thing for Ubisoft, though. I so. I just it got it, a television show. Yeah, but Michelle and Sam was involved with all those Rabbids yes. spinoffs? Yes. I thought he was just, like, Rayman Origins. Well, not and, all of the spinoffs. I mean, like, but, executive producing. Yeah. But, gotcha. yeah. Gotcha. Um, yeah, it's possible. Um, he says, sadly, I think that's just the way it goes with franchises under large publishers. You play by their rules and their stakeholders' interests. Beyond Gun Evil 2 deserves to be a to be independent really i think it deserves to be independent but that's a huge risk to take especially for something i mean it, it could have been a kickstarter like i feel like if they had done like a kickstarter and gone that route but even more frightened if it was a kickstarter <laughs> yeah well, are... the, the, the problem with that is is then you can actually see where they're putting the money like stops like oh we'll do this Easier. if we get this much money and then if they don't get it but then i just it's also but i, kind of I like also a... just feel like if they had done it like, if they had gone the kickstarter route one it could have been ultimately been picked up by a publisher once they saw proof of concept and, and interest in the project and two if they had just gone through and funded it completely with kickstarter it would have been much more similar to the original beyond good and evil than what we're one thing we we're didn't mention last week is more of the frightening stuff that's coming out of Ansel's mouth and that's that he's he stated that he's looking to like the fans for like input on like how they want the it's game well, there's, 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 there's their space monkey program or whatever they're doing god yeah. it's that sounds like absolutely not not a good sign for yeah. this kind what of project this guy? crispy's here speak of the devil speak of the tag in devil what 
Tag in. I think, I think Chris, Chris, Crispy's yeah, tagging in. some feedback. Thank you for joining us, Crispy. What did I say? I don't know. Oh, we're talking about Beyond Good and Evil 2. Oh. And No Man's Sky and all that. All right. Uh, feedback comes from Self Torment. Oh. <laughs> there will be a tank comment in here, I'm pretty sure. Hey, guys. Just wanted to say that you need to have more faith. Have more faith like Crispy. <laughs> you need to believe in dreams. Also, record players are dope as fuck. I have an old bar style jukebox. I will keep that in mind. And you know what? You even get extra points for not mentioning tanks in your comments. I don't mind believing in dreams. I just want to believe in my own, not his. <laughs> uh, and our last bit of feedback this week comes from Scarecrow. Um, does this? You came in at the perfect time, Crispy. He says, "Does Crispy plan to go through AM2R on his trip down Metroid's past?" Say again. Does Crispy plan to go through AM2R on his trip down Metroid's past? Is what he's saying. Absolutely. Absolutely. There yes. it is. Sounds very. Uh, uh, in fact, probably as soon as I'm done with Zero Fusion. Mission. You think I should go from Zero yeah. Mission to Fusion? Come on, you got to play the, the. There's you have one more real 2D Metroid. But you're, he's, you're, no Super Metroid. The problem is he's running out of time to play AM2R he's before the new. He's running. He's got these games. You knock him out in a week, and he's got plenty of time. I don't think he should play AM2R before he plays this new one. I think that's only gonna make. I think he should play the new one. Enjoy it for what it is, then play AM2R. Hmm. Okay. I mean, it's Chris, not fair if you Chris play Crispy's been in the room for five minutes, and we were already steering his steering his ship. Yeah. Well, I mean, if, <laughs> I, uh, if, if he really wants opinions on how, where he should go, I do think Fusion is what you should do before the fan game. Okay. Yeah. No, that makes sense. I mean, I, I I've already got AM2R downloaded and installed nice. and everything. It's just Criminal. sitting on my D drive, yeah. waiting. It's on the D. With anticipation. It's on the D. On, on my D. On the tip of the D. Um. So crispy. I'm gonna go ahead and mention this to you. Yeah. We're gonna be doing we're gonna be doing a free form conversation with chat here in just a second. That's Whoa. gonna be the first segment of the show. Whoa. It's <laughs> gonna be a little bit different. So I would go ahead and say Q because at your... we have nothing else. We to have talk nothing. Yes. <laughs> exactly. So. Like I said, we if have you, a fatal frame ghost on our banner. If you have, <laughs> <laughs> if you if you're watching us live on 4pp.tv and you have some topics, I would say go ahead and cue them up, start rattling them off. If you have questions, we'll we'll address them. We are still going to do questions from our patrons oh, well, in the second why is segment. This different. What? Why couldn't we do this in my house? <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, you're talking about? Oh, our, our hands can yeah, go up higher. Yeah. Why was it always cut <laughs> off in my house? Because lighting. But this is worse lighting. Is that why we look so red? The room is no, that's a TV thing. thing. The room is oh, smaller. Your room was smaller, like Brad, is the answer. Oh, yeah. We do look fine on the monitor. Oh, man. Wait, what? Hmm? Nothing. We're having conversations that we had earlier. But Crispy, Crispy how are you here. doing? I'm gonna, man. While we're waiting for chat to, to, to queue up some questions and some topics, and no, we're not going to talk about... Are you talking as Nolan in chat? Well, he's on my computer, so he signed in as me. Oh, it's going to be weird. Okay. You got to lay off. It, it The game doesn't need you you cheerleading it. I promise. Chris Davis is like it's it's thank God. Listen, I they love have Tekken, Chris Davis to market But PUBG. I'm not telling people to talk about Tekken. Calm down. I'm doing pretty good, Nick. Good. How was your commute? Uh, it wasn't great. And I was speeding the whole way. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, got, oh, dog, you don't have to do that. You yeah. got here faster than I was expecting. Yeah, given your schedule, I was so. going really fast. But um, <laughs> like, yeah, like, like like really fast, guys. Today's like, been okay, but last night I know I know this is I going. saw Baby Driver. I'm Holy! S- fuck. Oh, the movie. I'm seeing that on Saturday. I'm Holy pretty fucking excited. Fuck, man, that movie is so good. It'd probably man. been crazier if you saw an actual baby driver. Yeah, man. that's what I was saying. Yeah, that'd be good. I saw a baby driving a car, man, and it was wonderful. Fucking fuck, Fast and the Furious and the Transporter and all that bullshit. Oh, well, it's irrelevant course. now. Of course, wow. <laughs> fuck. Well, yeah. First of all, one of those franchises is inherently stupid. Actually, uh, what am I saying? Both like of those both. franchises. Fuck you. Are the first trans- Transporter was a good movie. Dude, you know why I like Transporter? Th- it was an okay movie. <laughs> you, you, it's you, passable. You know why I like Transporter? Get to the point where you say it's a fun movie. <laughs> it's a fun That's, movie. Dude, that is. Yeah, that is. I had a lot of fun. Like, like uh, 15 year old Nolan really liked that no, movie. No, I know. I know. I know. 15 year old Chris was into some really stupid shit. <laughs> After I saw that movie, I got some fucking driving gloves. 
Did you really? <laughs> you fucking serious? Holy shit, no. They were like 10 bucks at Walmart. Baby Driver. What? I'm going to watch it. I'm watching it. No on, one I'm cares watching about on. the new Sofia Coppola movie? Going to go see that this week. Which I one mean, is that? Oh. Well, do you have anything to say about it before you see it? I'm going to see The Big Sick this weekend. I already have tickets. Do you know why I I'm excited? To see that do you know too. why? No, sorry. Do you know why I liked Transporter Three? No. I don't remember that. I one. think it was the third one. But the Russian chick, with mm. the the short red hair. You know what I'm talking about? Mm. I'm pretty sure that was Transporter Three. Sounds like you're describing Julia Roberts. Remake. No, it was definitely not Julia Roberts. Uh, which Transporter movie? This, this girl was thick. Mm. Which Transporter you know I mean? movie? With had two C's. The bad guy that was just like a oh, dude, I don't remember any of the bad guys. Naked girl the whole movie. She's just wearing lingerie the whole movie. What? The second one? There's a tr- there's a Transporter movie with starring a like a villain that's like a like yeah. like a half naked chick. Yeah, she's I like, never she's knew. Like in lingerie Told you that series movie. was good, Nick. <laughs> Thick. <laughs> All right. Uh, okay. Bisk says, I thought Fast and the Furious got better in the sequels, but I kind of hated the first couple and found the later ones dumb spectacles that had to be... Exactly. Nick is universally wrong Hold here. On. You know I'm, why they're making so many, right? Because they're fucking... They need to get to the tenth one. No. Okay. Okay. I, you already you already have this terrible name planned out in your head. I can already... What is it? Fast 10-year seatbelts. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> oh my god! Well, that, the, oh. that's like the tagline on the movie. Fast no, no, that's not the fucking tagline, dude. That is the title of the movie. No, it's Fast Ten. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> oh that'd be God. so good. Wait, what is Nick fundamentally wrong about with the Fast and Furious? I think they're fucking stupid, and I don't like them at all. Yeah, yeah. that's not, he's bad. That's not controversial, dude, I, is it? No, that is. It is. Yeah, I mean, well, no, they're, like, like the, the, that they're dumb movies for dumb people. <laughs> no, <laughs> like, but but like, Fast and the Furious has become sort of like. Uh, like charmingly stupid. Like people love it now. No, no, it definitely un- it, it definitely is knowledgeable yeah. about what it is. Like yeah. it's a movie that's the first few were super serious about what they were. Except for then they got the three and that was weird. But then like they started realizing the people don't watch these movies because they like them as serious driving movies. They watch them because they're fucking goofy and stupid. Dude, Tokyo. So let's go over the top and have the rock flex out of a fucking cast. Yeah. And then do it seven times. Yeah. <laughs> but that's dude, cool. Dude. I mean they, they're like no. they're like the even, even if there was some even if there was some merit, which I'm not saying there isn't, but even if there was some merit in the franchise for the aspects that you're saying, there's no need for there to be fucking nine of them. Yes, there is. No, there isn't. That's that's it says the man over there eating up your Dude, little to- fucking comic book movies. Tokyo Drift. Tokyo Drift they're, is they're I comic, don't like the bad they're, they're a superhero team. I don't like the bad You know what? Tokyo Drift is the Halloween three. Of and they're just the fr- wait, the wait, wait, Halloween three, is that the one with like the short like the Where they put on the masks and the, they turn into the cockroaches? Yeah. Yeah, that one's dope. <laughs> Fuck you. It's a bad movie, but that's a good moment. <laughs> just, all Tokyo right. Drift is cool. Like, like the only bad one is like two and maybe four. Tokyo like, Drift had a really good theme song. I actually yeah. kind of like two, two. and maybe four? Yeah. I kind of like two. Three is is three Tokyo Drift? Yes, because three, Tokyo yeah. Drift is a bad movie. Well, Tokyo on. Drift is a bad movie. I, I think Tokyo Drift would have been better if the main actor wasn't horrible. Oh my god. Oh my horrible. god. Like, I, I'm just imagining like the like the lovey dovey scene with like him and whatever the girl's name is. Yeah. Like where they're all with their buddies drifting around the corners on the mountain and it's all so fucking serious. It's like, this is freedom, this is life. And it's like, <laughs> fuck this movie. <laughs> fuck this stupid That's fucking so movie. That's so good though. It's not. It's a good it's not. Bad movie. I would rather watch Initial D. Lil Bow Wow yeah, like, has a fucking Hulk car. That was kind of cool. <sighs> that he never drives. Does he ever drive it? <laughs> Do you ever see him driving it? You see yeah, it coming down he, in the car Was he elevator. old enough to drive when they were filming that movie? I mean, Lil Bow Wow was probably like eight, 19 or 20. Yeah. Oh. Why is he still... He doesn't still call himself he doesn't Lil, call, does he? I mean, I still call him Lil Bow Wow. If I saw him in the street, I'd be like, hey, Lil Bow Wow. And he'd be like, dude, I'm like 35. I know dude, people... I know those p- movies are... <laughs> are fun yeah which is usually code word for bad but i like it yeah Yeah, that's absolutely what it is that's like i i started reading initial impressions of valerian in the city of a thousand planets and people were like i had a lot of fun and i was like oh no no don't say that (laughs) but that's also a different kind of movie well sure fun and that's sure but i mean i like i mean you're talking about summer blockbuster spectacle movies which fast and the furious Absolutely is. It's very self-aware, too, though. Well, I would fucking hope so after nine of them. But they're not on nine, are they? 
They're yeah. No. They're eight. Eight. So they just did eight. eight? So we're okay. about it's to get the nine. amount of excuse them does me, nine is coming out. Them. Yeah. And like But nine exists somewhere. It's in a can somewhere. I'm sure it's Dude, I think I, I think it is beyond the can already. It is there's a roller coaster. Oh, you mean like the print? Yeah. Is that what you mean? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Alright, seriously. Like Hey, okay, so Roland Hungus in chat says, What is your favorite bad movie? That's a good You know, when I was younger, for some reason, oh, man. don't judge me. I really liked Master of Disguise. Oh, God. <laughs> I am judging. <laughs> Dana Carter. I am judging. <laughs> but now, I recently rewatched, I say recently, like four years ago, and I'm like, God damn, this movie is fucking horrible. Man, it's I, horrible. I have several bad favorite movie. bad movies, including. Mm. Judge Plan Dredd, nine, starring nine, Sylvester nine. Stallone. I am the love. And but we can agree that Dread is a actually good movie, right? Yeah, Dread's a good movie. Fantastic. I mean, it, it's good. It's it's good. Can I go ahead and just work Terminator uh, Three in here so we can just get that out of the way? Terminator Three. <laughs> Everyone's always like Nick likes Terminator Three. It's like, well, how about if I just go ahead and acknowledge that's a terrible movie, that's not but I like, like it anyways? Like liking a bad. You're not. You don't like a bad movie in the same way that he likes. Judge Dredd, you just like a bad movie. You like the movie. There's, there's for a what difference. I had fun watching Terminator Three. And you've come and you made peace with the fact. That okay, it's bad. Terminator Three isn't that bad. I I think it's there are worse than Terminator like movies. Alien Three. There are worse Terminator movies, by the way. I think Salvation was probably worse. I didn't than... even watch Salvation. Who was still watching Terminator when Salvation came out? Actually, Next question. Oh wait, no, we need to answer that question. Hey, first of all, what's our favorite bad movies? Yeah, while well, you're thinking Starship about that, Troopers. I don't know what I don't know what Illumination is is trying to get at by saying that Nick likes Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Like that's somehow yeah, a bad thing. That. I'm that's going good. to ignore it, <laughs> except that I just acknowledged it. So I saw, I'm sorry. It's good for Paul Verhoeven. Yeah, that's true. It's not uh, great for Paul. Ye Verhoeven, Ye Jaeger good. says Genesis was better oh, no. than Terminator Three. Wait, Nolan's looking at the bookshelf. This is the new posters. Mm. The Rundown. No, that's a pretty bad The Rundown's a good movie. <laughs> no, I do like Wait, that. Wait, that's the one with The Rock, right? Yes. And yes. Uh, and uh, Sean Williams. If Cat. The Rock yeah. is in it, it's already yeah. like elevated. Ooh. Now I want to rewatch that Ooh. movie. Are you gonna apply that criteria to Jumanji? Maybe. Wait, Jumanji's a good movie. It's got. Dad. I know. He's talking about the new no, Jumanji. There's a trailer new one for the coming new one out today. starring new one. Dwayne the Rock Johnson. No, I didn't watch that. And it's it's not out. No, I didn't say it's a good movie if The Rock is in. I'm saying you said it's already elevated. Yeah. I feel like that movie is like so far in a fucking. Has The pit. Rock ever made a movie worse? Ooh, that's a good question. I think he makes everything well, that he's in he better like, than it would movie be otherwise. Like, exactly. I, I, movie I feel like he es wouldn't be es in escape, a second movie if he made movies. Escape worse. from Witch Mountain, doesn't he in something like that? Yeah, yeah, the remake. Of Dude, the yeah. Witch you say that. Movie. You say that it. if you like about you know. They wouldn't put someone in a movie if he kept making it worse. No, I said The Rock. They oh, keep putting the Rock. Because I was like, because there are terrible actors who are also produ producers dude, who keep making movies. I had two instances, to, uh, I think today, where I was going through uh, like Rotten Tomatoes or whatever, and I went through. I clicked on like one of the actors. I clicked on one of the actors in. Uh, in I clicked on the main actor in Baby Driver, the star of Baby sure, Driver. Sure, sure. Uh, he hasn't it, been in a whole. And lot. I pulled up his filmography. He's been in about like. 10 things. Yeah. The only one without a, that wasn't a splat on Rotten Tomatoes was Baby Driver with a oh, 98%. Wow. Mm -hmm. Everything else was like sub 50% and I was yeah. like, "Damn, that stands out." And then one of the I also one of the actresses from from uh Suicide Squad is the same way. I, I the I think the girl that played Enchantress in Suicide Squad, uh, yeah. someone's in Valerian. Yeah, she's, yeah. yeah. She's I pulled in something up, else too. I pulled up her she's entire a, filmography. She's a model, isn't she? Yeah, uh, yeah she's I think not so. really an actress. She's a she's, she's a, a she's, she's a hyphen. In, she's been oh, in, she's, she's an actor. You know what? I don't know if this is like my favorite bad movie. Things. I don't even know she's if it's a, a bad movie. She's a slash. But I watched it recently. Slashy. Robin, like I said, Robin and I were watching the mum, the original Mummy, mm -hmm. or not the original Mummy, but the one with Brendan, Brendan Fraser. Fraser the, sure. And, and, and I, I forgot. Like I remember back in the day watching the movie and thinking like like this is a great movie. Like this is like actually kind of creepy and, and shit. I forgot how fucking goofy that movie yeah, is. it's pretty goofy. But it's good. You know what's worse? The second one? Well, when we they have the kid? That's what I was oh saying. Like, I think I think God, maybe the second so one bad. might fall into... It's so hey, bad. Hey, put the rocks in that movie. Yeah. And I think he probably made it better. I still CG can't think of like, so like a really, rocks, really bad movie that I really like. Yeah. <laughs> He was the Scorpion King. No, he's King. at the very beginning. For like 10 <laughs> yeah. minutes, not even, like 5 minutes at the beginning of the movie, he's in it. Some early 21st century CG work pasting the rock's face yeah. on a giant scorpion monster. Yes. Is that really counting? Hold on, what's the third one? 
Scorpion th- King what was the second. No, the third, third one, one was the dragon the, uh, emperor. the Dragon Emperor, which uh, I never watched. I didn't see it that. Didn't have Never mind. All right, Brendan I was Fraser. thinking of Scorpion King. Damn, Man. I really wish I could answer that question. Keep keep these comments and questions coming, guys. This is good what, stuff. What's your favorite bad it's good movie? Good stuff. What like the faculty is a great movie. Fuck you. Who said it wasn't? I just can't think of a good one. Uh, Villanova. To answer your question, we're having Dead a free form conversation movie, tonight. Though. Wait. <laughs> oh my god. Hey, the faculty. The faculty is a great movie. Someone said it wasn't. Oh. With Elijah Wood and uh, that was good John movie. Stewart's in that movie. <laughs> really? Yes, he's one of the teachers. Oh, well, that makes sense. I do like Mortal Kombat, the movie. The first and Mortal Kombat movie is actually movie quite good. <laughs> no, it's not. It's a bad it's not. movie. But. Oh. Well, maybe I remember. You like that first that's, Resident that, Evil movie. But it's that, fun. That's like saying the Street Fighter movie is good. Oh, Street Fighter. With, oh, let's see, that's gosh. a good bad with, movie. With yeah. Gomez Adams yeah, yeah, yeah. and Bison. Hey, you know that what? That might not be a good bad that, movie. That first <laughs> Resident Evil movie. I really love that movie. Not. Wait. You love it? The, it's love not it, yeah. good. The balance I between like it. fun and pain is. Not I did like the first scary there. movie when I saw it. Oh shit! Small Soldiers. Oh. That one. I haven't seen that in a long time. Is yeah. that still good? I can't remember. Was yeah. that bad? I, or I just liked it because I was a kid. I'm sure yeah. it's bad. Yeah. Okay. I think that's. I think okay. that's the boat that we're in. Oh my goodness! There's so many movies that we can keep bring up right now. So many movies. Why people uh, in chat are just now naming good? I know. Movies. So seriously, guys, this is a free form conversation. Yeah, let, let's feel free on. to. Th- y'all gotta move that conversation on. Otherwise, we're, if you are stuck on the topic, we're gonna get stuck on the topic. Yes, throw out some more questions or, yeah, or discussion topics questions. or whatever. Uh, street. Wait, okay, wait. Rebecca says, "What's your favorite flavor of jam?" Uh, strawberry. Uh, mm. Ooh, that's tough. I, like I preserves, do. I do like yeah. strawberry. I like grape. strawberry preserves. Strawberry preserves. I can't go back. I used to. It used to be all about grape jelly for me. Yeah, me too. Can't go back to grape after no, after having strawberry. It's a texture thing. You can't go back. After I mean, having I had a grape. Preserves. I once like I made a decision. Okay, so I had a, I did an experiment like uh-huh. a month ago. I was sitting Why at home. Both? I had nothing. I had nothing to eat except for bread and peanut butter, and I had both kinds of jelly. I had jelly, st- grape jelly, and strawberry jam in my fridge. So I made two peanut butter jelly sandwiches, one of each, and I ate them back to back. There's no going back. It's all about strawberry all the way. Blackberry jam's pretty good. That's 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 a weird patch of sand to draw a line in, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> Nick, honestly, probably the the you you had grape grape jelly, not grape jam. Yes, I think that's the difference. Is jam, jam is always better than jelly. I, I will I will put up that fucking because steak. jam still jam. has like bits of the well, fruit. Yeah, jam, jam always it. tastes less like processed. It yeah. tastes like your fucking well, because it is less processed. Yeah, I know, that's, but that's what I'm saying. That's why I like it better than like a jelly. That I just think jelly's good on like an English muffin or something though. Maybe All big wazoo and crannies. Crannies. Big wazoo takes it one step further. What's your favorite kind of sandwich? Ooh. That's a really broad. Ooh, like that's a, tough. SMG Sterling says, "What are some of the worst games you have ever?" Games you have played, like actual published games, not random indie stuff. Not oh, Jericho. Jericho. I feel like we've answered this question. Jericho, like, definitely yeah. Jericho. Jericho's a, like I Brink. played. Brink's pretty bad. Wet. Jer- I played through worse. Wet. You Jericho's did. far worse. Oh, sorry, I didn't play through Wet. I got through like four, or five, two or three hours of Wet, and then I was like, I can't, I can't be Wet anymore. I'm gonna say Jericho by Mercury Steam. Uh, Yoshi's Island for the 3DS. Is it Jericho? The movie's a piece of shit. Anybody Our ever played Jericho? Shit, you rather. guys heard of Jericho? Oh, sorry, we're talking about movies. Man, I want, I want, like, I want, like, other people to play Jericho as, like... <laughs> Punishment? Well, suffering, you know? It's like... It's oh, like, oh, uh, so tra- SMG Sterling just mentioned Alone in the Dark, I, not, and I, I played the you one... You like that game? Yeah, I mean... Wait, no, the new Nightmare was the PS1 game. No, I didn't play new Nightmare. I'm talking about like the one that's just called Alone in the Dark. It was on 360 and PS3. Uh, I played that game start to finish, and while that game is has some serious problems, I like certain parts. Of it. I wish, th- if this was a question, if, if this was that question earlier about like what's the, your favorite bad movies that you've ever watched, whatever, but like bad video games, I'd probably say Alone in the Dark. Hmm, that was pretty good. That's a good question. Sticky Any tape. good Sticky bad tape, games? Brad? Any, good, any bad, any games? bad you games you like? Any? I uh, feel like we've answered that. Question. We've answered my, guilty pleasure. Me and like, my roommates yeah, were really into really Fusion Frenzy two for a while <laughs> on the three hundred and sixty, which is not good at all. But we had a lot of fun with it. Yeah, we have answered that question. Yeah, we definitely have. Uh, uh, what else? Keep them, keep them coming, guys. What keep was it. that last question though? Wait, which one? The last one. Uh, the one SMG said. Oh wait! I saw something. I saw something. Big sandwich? something gaming said something. Favorite type of sandwich. Favorite type of sandwich. Like a like an Italian. Mm. Hot Oil beef injection. Oh, that's oh. 
<laughs> I'm glad I spotted would that. Would you question. rather? <laughs> Big Easy Gaming says, "Would you rather have dick-sized nipples or nipple size? A nipple size? I would rather have dick-sized nipples." <laughs> Who's dick? What? Mine? I'm sorry, but what? Oh. <laughs> like you know what I'm saying? Like who's whose size? Nipple size. Because they, they come in various sizes. They do, well, but I, mean, I think like, either way, it's gonna. Are we be... talking about like nipple size when flaccid, but then it like grows? <laughs> no, out normally. We're just talking size. Also, not whose function. nipples are we talking about? If we're talking like Farrah Fawcett nipples, that's a pretty big dip. Dick. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's like like a tuna can. <laughs> I think Farrah Fawcett's dead. <laughs> well, let's look it up. To the internet. Holy shit. Oh my god. I like how Big Easy says it's a serious question. It's Farrah a Fawcett. Just she uh, she doesn't know. Shit. Favorite, Favorite cereal? Reese's Pieces all the way. I oh my love god. Reese's Pieces cereal. <laughs> Favorite cereal? That's not a cereal. Reese's That's a candy. candy. No, Reese's Pieces cereal. Reese's, Reese's Puff, Puff cereal. Oh, sorry. Reese's, Reese's Puff a cereal. Reese's sorry. Pieces. You know what? I I was always a big fan of of Apple Jacks. When I was a kid, I liked uh, Fruity Pebbles. I, I liked Cookie Crisp when I was going. Cookie up. Crisp was amazing when yeah. we were kids, and then and they changed it, and yeah. it sucks. I'm gonna be honest. Uh, this Frosted might... Flakes is also the best. This... I eating Waffle Crisp right out the box. I'll be honest. Please. Like this might be. I don't know if this is an unpopular answer or not, but I I'd love me some Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Hold on. What was the other French Toast? Did they make like a French Toast Crunch or something yeah. like that? Yeah, they sure did. I yeah. liked that when I was a kid too. Yeah. You know they what I like? like little pieces I like of multi grain Cheerios. Honey bunches of oats. Now we're just naming cereal. Oats? <laughs> no, no. What, what, what was that? Those mini honey, cereals. Honey, honey nut clusters, of... I think, was one that Sugar was pretty good. Including store brands and value <laughs> brands. Sugar-coated uh, wheat flakes. I was never I was never a big fan of Fruity Pebbles or Trix or... Of I went through a Kicks phase, but I, I quickly grew out of my Kicks phase. Thanks, Chris Davis. <laughs> I like how his, his hand actually came into the I, shot. I, I, this is the benefit of like having Chris Davis in the I, room with us when we're producing. His hand can every once in a while just come into the shot. I also went through a grape nuts thing. phase. Grape nuts? Yeah. You gotta add sugar to those. They are so fucking bland. Bisque says, would you rather have a bowl of infinite cereal and milk, or would you rather be able to eat an infinite amount of cereal without getting full? Uh, the bowl. I, want to do I guess the bowl? Because yeah. then you just have... I mean, does it go bad, though? You just put it away when you're done. Yeah. If it's the, cereal and you hate cereal, even oh. if the, even if the milk and the cereal in the bowl went bad, all you'd have to do is just dump it out and keep dumping for a little while, and then it would get and better. Then, then you'd be fine. Yeah, it's cool. just constantly Golden generating. Golden Hold on, what, what, uh, scroll up, Chris Davis. Someone asked uh, Loom, "What game do you dislike to play, but you will still play it regardless?" PUBG. PUBG. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I don't think there's any games I don't like to play. I, that I'll play. I, I, I tend I tend to avoid games that I don't like to play. That's kind of I kind of felt that way about Diablo two back in the day when Why? it got real gross. <laughs> when it got real gross. Oh my god! Just realized we don't have because I was addicted and I was just doing the same I, shit over and over again. I think the easiest answers to that question are like multiplayer games. Yeah. So like I like there's a bunch where. Like, I won't always be into playing Rocket League, but, like, my roommates want to play Rocket League, and I want to hang out with my roommates and play a video game, so I'm like, fuck it, I'll play some you got to turn them on to some new but shit. But then, no, 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 that, no, that's not a thing. But then, after, like, a match or two, I like Rocket League again. <laughs> I think for me, in that regard, like, roguelikes. So I don't want to say roguelikes, I don't like to play them, because I do like to play them. They're good games. I just don't like who I become when I play them, because I play them too much, and I just need to not. So yeah. I mean... Fair enough. Uh, Turbo Ma says, "How do you guys feel about the trend of giving games in a negative review on Steam just because of drama or lack of I think language it's support? I think it's a silly thing. Yeah, to I do. think if you're gonna bother to give something a review, give it like actually. Like I don't like when like it. I don't want to use the word social justice warriors, but when people go out of their way to like, oh, let's bring down this fucking game because of this. Yeah, and, like, if if you feel that strongly about something, just don't fucking play the game to begin with." I mean, uh, to an personally. extent, I can understand. Like, so, you know, there are certain times when, like, oh, the developer like beats a woman every time he sees her. Mm. I mean, maybe that's a good excuse. Yeah. But I mean, like, it, it depends, depends on the drama. Sometimes the drama's drama. kind of silly. Like, what's going on with GTA right now, where like the Steam reviews hit the shitter because they removed a lot of the mods that people, the ability for people to play the mods that they really loved, and uh, they're kind of backing off a little bit. Uh, Rockstar, from what I understand. So like like sometimes it's sometimes it's just people 
kind of voicing their opinion, and sometimes it gets heard. But I mean, so the, the problem with that, Brad, is is that's not a review of the game. You're no longer reviewing the game. You're reviewing like, you know, something person. else. You know what I'm saying? Like, sure. But I mean, they're just using it to, you know, speak out. They're using it to show their outrage. Yeah. Some yeah. cases, it's. I mean, it's, it's situational. Like, uh, hey, Chris Davis, can you scroll up just a little bit? Some people right, do uh, it because S there's Jerry like go. a female protagonist oh, that's who's stupid. like, you know, black and they want the game to die because people are terrible. Well, that's obviously ridiculous. Uh, SMG Sterling says, what were the hardest games to finish for you guys? Oh, in plus. Whether because it was difficult or just a chore to get through. In plus. There's, there's definitely been a few games where I'm oh, like, man. I come this far, I just have to fucking finish Super it. Super Metroid I'm comes to, to some... mind. Mario 64. <laughs> like we're thinking oh. of immediately That's flashing it. back to Those Project like M. Hard. <laughs> you were just doing them in one sitting. Yeah. A link to the past. Nope. Same rule. They have same rule. No. <laughs> <laughs> Oh uh, my Near god! Oh, what are some really hard games? You know, it was really hard to get through Thumper. Like the last couple stages of that game were just like a kick in the nuts. That sounds um, awful. Why would you play a game that feels like a kick in the nuts? Because it's good. It's uh, rewarding. I don't know. Can you scroll back up there? Really tough Where's games. Those? I mean, there's... Honestly, some of the more recent... Like, for me, like, Final Fantasy XV. Like, I just was not feeling that game towards the end. But oh, like, but I've he, he said difficulty, far. right? Oh, yeah, was it? He said whether it be he said because it of difficulty... He said it was the most difficult to finish. Yeah. Or just, uh, well, if, you, if, you look at, if you look at the question again... He said, or were, if it feels like a chore. Yeah. Which I can oh, see maybe okay, 15 okay. feeling like a chore. So that's what I'm point, saying. Like for not... me, it was something like Final Fantasy 15 was one. Like 13 was another. Like some of those games where it's like, dude, like I'm like I'm already started playing it. Like I feel bad not finishing it. Yeah. I mean, there are some games that are so popular and so high profile was... they just don't click with you. I yeah. remember seeing on Twitter the other day. I think George said he was he was having a hard time enjoying Breath of the Wild, and I yeah, was like, was. I don't understand, but okay. But I think he put it down. I, I, but, but I, he, I recall. But is he saying like the games we actually kind of pushed through and finished? Well, I don't know. Yeah, but look at the question. Yeah, yeah, Chris Davis is doing questions. a horrible job. Yeah. Oh, I got. I got. You, you. had four uh, I got jobs, you, fam. and you're doing one of them poorly. Keep going. It's a Where little. Way. Oh, wait, is, wait, is that, was that it? it? Yeah. The what were the hardest games, games to finish to for you guys? Finish for you guys. Whether because, Whether it, was because it was okay. difficult okay. or just hard to get through. See, that's what I said. That kind of something. That kind of changes things a little bit. Um, yeah, I mean, th there are some games like in the past where I kind of pushed myself, but I feel like these days I. Like if if some uh, is a chore, mankind or... divided was another one. Like mm. where I enjoyed oh. <laughs> it early on. I did. I had trouble starting that game, uh, so I didn't. <laughs> games you okay? Uh, Soul Calibur two. Are we answering this? Hey, hey <laughs> keep scroll back up. There's, there's, we missed some questions. Uh, 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 let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Wait, no, Gamer Beg said video games you've jerked off to. I know, but like, let's, we're we're skipping a bunch of other good yeah, questions on, from people who may not like, chat very go, often. Go so go. it's nice to kind okay, of okay, okay, okay. Uh, keep going. Keep going. Wait, wait. Keep no, going. we did that. Do you guys? Roland <laughs> Hungus. Do you guys cook? And if so, what's your favorite dish to make? Yes, I cook. Does anybody not cook? Is that a yeah, thing? I think there are yeah. plenty of people who. Well, if yeah, I, I, I think your I think it depends on your definition of cooking. Some people oh, yeah. like if, if yeah. you're like specifically well, have some to go people out, like find oh, a recipe. Like, I don't cook often, ingredients. but I cook like spaghetti because it's easy. Like, yeah. Spaghetti. I mean, spaghetti. Like. Well, then your answer would be spaghetti. Probably, I cook. Yeah. I cook spaghetti. It's the only I thing like I cook, spaghetti. and it's my favorite. I like cooking. For me, honestly, my favorite dish to cook is a nice seared ribeye. It's fucking. So but that's Why? because you're eating steak. Yeah, I mean that's part of it. Yes, uh, I cook a mean beef Wellington. <laughs> I, I actually have a, my mom gave me a recipe that like a long time ago that I make all the time, which is like a it's just like a tomato based like chicken curry over rice kind of recipe with like some veggies in it. I fucking love it. It's like my favorite thing there's, to make. There's make a couple of casseroles, like one from my grandmother, one from my mom that I really like to make sometimes. Yeah, yeah. cooking is good. I like food. Uh, can we go back up? Oh man, these nope. questions are coming hard and Hot fast, and as they say. Um, what item? Re Reborn says, "What oh, item would you one. possess?" Hey, wait, crispy. What item would you possess with Mario's hat from Mario Odyssey? Dildo. What? Oh. <laughs> That's that immediately where your brain goes. I mean, I mean, I possess a dildo. How would a dildo wear a hat? Would the hat go on the tip? Would it go on the base? Would it go on like the shaft? And like, it's like the it's, tip would be like your nose. It'd be on the part that doesn't go into the vagina. Wait, uh, when I, I, I wouldn't you want to be the? Never mind. Never mind. The I, hat. I would possess a, a printing press, Wait and a I would minute. make a bunch of money. <laughs> 
So <laughs> if you have a printing press Wait. that can make money, why why not just make the money? Why do you have to become the printing no, press? Like I would go to like I would go to like the fucking DC tre- like treasury and I would throw the hat at it and then as a giant printing press just run down the street and then just print a bunch of fucking And then I throw the hat on the money to run away as the money. Just shit so you're saying you want to be a superhero for people, just like giving people money in the streets? Just well, like No, me. Oh, just just you. Okay. Thanks for clarifying. Not yeah. anal beads. Oh, just. <laughs> uh, I'd be an anal. Real bead. quick, touching on no! the dildo. <laughs> just, just literally in a butthole. All real, day. real quick, <laughs> touching on, on on the on the on the yeah. possessed dildo. So if if, if the uh, if the hat goes on the end that doesn't go in the vagina, that means that your head is essentially the bottom end of the. Which makes so the, it's like you're just you're like standing in a vagina and like pulling it up. <laughs> No, you. no, you're the t- it's just the, no, it's, the it's object like, is just wearing the head. It's like, no, 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 no. But, but you have to imagine that the hat goes on the part of the object that's kind of like the head. Because whenever he possesses people, it's people wearing the hat. Whenever he possesses a T-Rex, it's a T-Rex wearing the fucking hat. Whenever he possesses a fire He's hydrant, it's the hat things. on top of a fire yeah. hydrant. Yeah. And the mustache. Yeah. yeah, and what about the mustache? Where's the mustache go? Is that just like flailing off the sides of the dildo as it's like, like brushing up into the vagina? This has been a fantastic question. Hey, can we scroll up again? Nope. <laughs> oh, this is this is. Oh, this oh this, this is, is crispy next. over there. I'm with you. Uh, hey, look, this little thing makes Chris Davis. So, a video game ba- says Illum- Illumination <laughs> says, "Is there a video game based on a film you liked to play, or is it just horrible to play?" Mm. Is there a video game based? Oh, so you tell me, video is there a license game, game that you, that you like to play that was just? I mean, Horse. everyone's going to well, say Spider-Man. Eight so. out of ten of licensed games are yeah, horrible most to play. Riddick. Yeah. Oh, Riddick. Well, Riddick is a fucking game. from Butcher Bay. Bay. Yeah. Dude, that I mean, that's more based on that universe, but I mean, that does come from the film. And yeah. Spider-Man 2. Yeah. And... I've heard that Wolverine game was actually pretty good, but I never played it. What Wolverine game? Based on a the film one that you that was liked. Ba- the one that Wait, was, no, I mean, play, it could go okay. both ways. I heard the game based off of that awful Wolverine movie is actually pretty good. The one where Mark Hamill played Wolverine. Yeah, that's Raven Software that made that. Oh, was that Mark Hamill that played Wolverine in the movie with Hugh no, Jackman? No, in the in the in the game. I mean, yeah, in the game he played Wolverine, but it right. was Hugh Jackman's likeness. Well, or they they just I don't know if it was his exact likeness or just like as close as they could get it without making it actually Hugh. I Jackman. imagine it would have been right. They probably would have had the rights to that. Probably. That's weird. All right. I was going to make got, a joke and say like Street Fighter because that was a movie, but they actually made a movie based Street Fighter ever, game. Prince of the Universe asks, "Have you ever started a game on hard difficulty and then finished it on easier difficulty?" Yes. Yeah, dude. I, I, I Red I, Faction Gorilla. I'm sure like, I've this done. This game doesn't need to be hard. Oh, yeah. I'm sure I've done that, but when I get like, if I'm playing on normal and it gets to the point where it's oh, you say if I went from hard to easy. Yeah, yeah. If like, you've made it easier, because you started out too difficult. Oh. Well, I never play games on hard. I immediately default to, to normal 100% of the time. So, um, I can't say I have literally know. never jer- jerked off to Laura Croft. Thank you for... That's a good one. Side Real EX asks, Is there a genre, Laura concept, or IP you've always wanted to see as a video game? Ooh. Yeah. 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 A genre... Hmm. Like a like a film genre? Maybe. IP, I wanna see a Vlash a Flash video game. You said Vlash. I, yeah. I did say Vlash. It has to be Vlash, Vlash now. Vlash. Vlasic Pistol. Inception. 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 Is there video By the way, uh, I watched Inception last week. Interesting. For the first time in a long time. Oh. Okay. The movie's still fucking brilliant. What about like a like a prestige? Like you're like a magician. Has there been any games where you're like a serious magician? It's just about like brooding existential horror. Yeah. You don't really like yeah. Do anything. <laughs> no, it's like maybe maybe you gotta like pull off the tricks to to you know make the audience happy or whatever. I don't know. It's like it's like like zoo tyco- a roller coaster tycoon, but you're a magician. I don't magician know. Magician tycoon. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta you gotta come up with new like, I mean, tricks to I've been keep sitting the here. Happy. I mean, I'm one of those lame people you, that's been sitting here. Be... T- I'm sorry. I mean, I'm I just think of like Batman Beyond. I've I've wanted that to be a video mm-hmm. game, especially after seeing what what uh, Rocksteady did with. You know the Batman IP. I would. I've always wanted them to tackle some of the maybe the other. Like that's why I was super into Gotham by Gaslight before it was actually canceled. A a Batman Beyond video game would actually be really cool. But I've always been I've always been reticent to the idea for a couple of reasons. Those being that like Batman Beyond super like powers like his suit 
kind of makes a lot of the stuff that's like really fun in those Batman Arkham games a moot point because he can just like turn invisible and he can fly and you know you know what I'm saying. They can, take some, they can make some, they can have some creative control over it to I guess to tweak it a little bit. I think I think I'm more interested in the setting and the idea of an older Bruce Wayne taking a mentor that kind of thing. I have Dude, two answers. Old Bruce Wayne's great. I want a King of the Hill game. Telltale game <laughs> where you just drink beer and sell a Fargo propane. game. A what? A Fargo game. Fargo. Fargo. Nice. Now you're Fargo just think- is a property that actually probably could be made yeah. into a very good a Telltale like, game. Yeah. Telltale, yeah. But like good Telltale. Like in a future where Telltale had a new engine and they were making good games again. Uh, here's a here's just a random thought. I haven't seen Baby Driver yet. Mm-hmm. I'm not saying I want a Baby Driver video game, but like mm-hmm. the idea of trying to make an action game that is that is built mm-hmm. around I got music one for you, mm-hmm. the Wheelman. Oh, bro. I didn't expect you to say music. Yeah, I was gonna say like <laughs> Vin like, Diesel's dude, the wheel. Like man. trying to make yeah. a like making an action game where like the music plays into it's the like mechanically. It's like a rhythm like, driving cool. game, dude. That's or what that movie kind of is yeah. like. Yeah. Every like uh, every gunshot and everything in that movie is set to the, to the music. music. It's like yeah. when yeah. Jessica crazy. Bill would put on her iPod in Blade Three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 it's like that. Why do they have a good John Wick game? Because there's no John Wick game. Is there? There is. Oh, uh, okay, what's next? Uh, let's keep. Let's keep uh, <laughs> no, he's looking at the bookshelf. I would like a Borat video game. <laughs> well, while we're at it, <laughs> going on maybe. A, okay, let's let, let's scroll down a little yeah. bit and see what else we have. Question. Hold on, uh, Scarecrow asks: If you had unlimited money, how would you go about upgrading the podcast? Fireworks. If I had unlimited money, fireworks. Unlimited money. Well, we'd probably. Red cameras. Red camera. Okay, y'all thinking too small here, guys. Fireworks aren't small. Dude, well, first thing we first would do all, is buy a studio. No, we, buy an we, island. We would, we would buy. We have unlimited. I think money. the fact that it's <laughs> if we had <laughs> unlimited money, would we be making a podcast? Well, why not? We can make a podcast. We could about pay having unlimited to money. up to make like a new internet that's that's like better and faster to get our content out there more efficiently. We do it from space. I'd, hi- I'd, hi- I'd hire some. Indi- I'd hire some help. I would also maybe pay for an actual like marketing campaign that we don't have to do ourselves. If I had unlimited money, I would spend like so much of that money into like all the space programs around the world just because I want to see where that goes. Unlimited. He was talking about how would you use it on the podcast, not about space. And then I podcast from space. Just become NASA sugar daddy. Yeah. Be like, shut up, baby. I love you. Not just NASA. Uh, Literally everyone. Alyssa says, European space agents. Uh, Alyssa, smiley Alyssa says, do you guys dislike or fear doctors or dentists? No. No? no? Yeah. I mean, I think I, everyone I has like, a little bit of apprehension about like, going to the dentist. Why? I, I love not, it. I always get fucking clean teeth afterwards. Yeah, I think it's just... But now I always feel bad because they're like, have you been flossing? No, I haven't been flossing. Who the fuck do you think I am? Of can course we, I haven't been just, flossing. Can we get past this part? I, before you ask me, no, I have not been flossing. <sighs> But no, I, I don't mind. I, do, I definitely don't fear things. them, but sometimes I'm like, I'll go to the doctor and they like talk to me for like two seconds and like. And then leave. And, <laughs> and then they're like, and I'm like, well, this kind of hurts. Like, oh, how does it hurt? And like, I don't, not good at describing things. All right, you're fine. Just fucking bye. Well, Brad, I think in a lot of situations, if it's like, if you can't even describe it, it's probably not that bad. Like, you know what I'm I saying? Know, like, it's kind of one of those situations where it's like, if you're not in crippling pain. I don't know. For me, it's like uh, I kind of have this. I don't know if it's a fear yet because it's never happened. But <laughs> it's a developing to, fear. Well, no. To like when I go to the doctor to get the prostate. Check. Oh, there's there's, uh, there's something about like most physicians. <laughs> well, you're I've not known, excited about that. <laughs> there's something about most physicians I've known that like regardless of their medical training and expertise, like personally, they're just kind of like the worst person for me to be taking such a big serious problem to like yeah. for me to be like i am really fucking glad that you're the guy that deals with this <laughs> like you're i like you're i hate you know, it. It, it, for, for me it also comes from like i remember I, john mulaney who's a comedian he did like a bit about how he had to get like a prostate exam or something and like like when the doctor like or something so i don't know we're talking about like shitting in the doctor's hand when he pulled out <laughs> and, like oh, and, and like and like that's kind of like a, I don't want that to happen. I don't want to yeah. just poop on a guy. <laughs> I mean, some people pay for that, yeah. but it'd be a situation where I would be paying to do it, which is kind of weird. A little strange. Yeah. Well, it's his fault strange. for having such a shitty job. <laughs> nice, Brad. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> let's. Carlos' question. Uh, oh God. You can okay. Carlos says 
sorry, InMyLifeDog.com says, you can sign a multi-million dollar deal for the podcast, but you have to kill a cast member. Who who do you choose? I kill Carlos. <laughs> yeah, I think Good we all vote for killing Carlos. Carlos. <laughs> yeah, sorry. I think he'd be into it. <laughs> he, right. His name is InMyLife.com. <laughs> InMyLifeDog.com. All right, uh, what else do we have? We're coming Roland up on the end of the segment. So. <clears throat> Uh, with Mario and Rabbids being a turn-based tactical game, which existing game franchise would you like to see explore different game genres? Mm. Oh, I think we've question. answered this we've question. Too. About this. Yeah. yeah, but that's a good question. That's a good question. It's hard to think of kind of off the top of our head, but I, yeah, I wish I could like I wish I could like I wish I had like a catalog in my brain of like all the episodes I we would talk like about, so I could be like, listen to this episode. Platinum Games to work together with <laughs> Arc System Works to make a platinum crossover fighting game. And someone asked a good one. Platinum they, crossover they fighting. Game. You have Two B and King Bayonetta Fury. and fucking. Wait, what do you? Which actor would you pick to cast yourself, uh, cast for yourself in the four player network movie? Mm. The Rock. Mm. I don't want to answer this question. <laughs> You're the, you get The Rock. I'll be yeah. like Michael Fassbender or something. <laughs> <laughs> but see, y'all, are, y'all are like Nick would be Peter Dinklage. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> no offense to Peter Dinklage. Hey, Joseph could be Weeman. No, uh-huh. no. He'd pick the dudes from like Breaking Bad or something. Are you sure he wouldn't be Michael? Want me, Michael well, y'all C. are giving like joke answers, and I'm thinking of like people. I'm just, that, I mean, is it Matt Damon? I've actually been just told. Honestly, Matt Damon. I've been told. Is by, it Matt Damon? Yes, it's Matt Damon. I've been told by some <laughs> people that I look like a younger Matt Damon, but that, that's when I was younger, so I don't were, know if that that still were these people applies. blind? blind? <laughs> no, no, they were not blind. <laughs> Visually impaired? No. Go fuck yourself. I, I would. I. I think. I think that actually has nothing to do with my love for the Bourne movies. That is purely based on the fact that people have told me I looked like a younger version of him. That's all I'm saying. I mean, what? <laughs> fuck off. <laughs> you asked. Somebody asked. I want to know who said that. I, <laughs> cho- I choose Christy Oliver wants Platt. To beat them up. Oliver Platt for myself. I. I. I think. I think. I, I think. Mean, the, Brad, Brad would clearly be the Seth Rogen. The best Rogan. choice to bring the character of Crispy to life would be. John Hamm, I think. Yeah, yeah, I can see it. I don't see it. You just lack vision. <laughs> <laughs> like the people who think Nick looks like Matt Damon. Fuck yeah, off. Like, what is Fuck that? Fuck off. Uh, has any of, has anybody of in this room Damon. ever thought that? Wait, what? Has anybody in this room ever looked at Nick and been like, man, you know, he does kind of look like you. I, think like I didn't say I did. I'm just oh. saying I've... I, I think I've, he kind of had... looks like... Remember the dude from Breaking Bad that shoots the kid? Oh, oh Matt that, Damon? No. Meth Damon. <laughs> wait, is that... Wait, what's his real... What's that guy's name? Meth I know who you're talking. I can picture his face. <laughs> well, who's that dude in Fargo season two? Meth Damon? Friday Night Lights. <gasps> oh, yeah. Yeah, Meth Damon. <laughs> uh, oh, my oh, God. We're so Why are you far scrolling behind past... Now. Oh, my God. Because we're so far behind. Oh, my God. Who would Chris Davis be? Uh... <clears throat> Like a Tom Cruise. We gotta pick a. We gotta pick uh, a cop. Uh, uh, did they have to be alive? Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, did they have to be alive. Definitely like Walter Matthau or something. Oh, I was gonna say like Betty White. I, I think I think I think Giovanni <laughs> Ribisi could like uh-huh. chameleon himself into Chris Davis. Probably. Wait, he's not dead, right? He's not. Okay. Giovanni Ribisi. We were just yeah. talking about dead people for a second, and then he said Giovanni Ribisi. I was gonna and say I was like, Bob Hoskins. Oh, Oh, he'd be lucky to oh, get Bob Oh, you guys, you guys were right? casting dead actors? No. Just, I <laughs> hey, just Q, saying, wait, 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 scroll down. King Carey says, describe your day only using Pornhub categories. Mm. <laughs> mm. I'm not familiar with Pornhub categories. I'm mm. sorry. What? I mean, I, I I'm not. That. Hey, I didn't say I don't watch porn. I, I just mean, said they're it. all the same. Oh, are they? Yeah. Well, why do you pick Pornhub then? No, but I'm just saying. I, just I thought there might be something oh, special about their categories. Describe your day. Oh no, this is like a creative question. Okay, so when I get up in the morning. Oh god. <laughs> no. Oh, I thought you meant I just pick one category that kind of encapsulates bukake. your day. <laughs> what? Golden shower? Because I pee and then I take a shower. No. Is that? I thought I thought you were just picking one category yeah, to describe, to describe your, day. your day. I kind of just like. That kind of just no, like no. Sums it says up describe the... your day only using Pornhub categories. Well, it can be it can be interpreted mm. in many different ways. Holy shit! Mm. I don't know. That's it's a Chris. Bukake, bukake, <laughs> bukake. <laughs> just oh my god! Hard butt stuff. <laughs> I don't think that's an actual title <laughs> of a category. Is it? I kind of <laughs> wish it was. Mm. Someone go to Pornhub and search hard butt stuff. See what happens. <laughs> 
<laughs> gaping assholes. Okay, that's well, mm. all right. Uh, I've told that story. We need before. to no. Let's <laughs> about the friends. I was yes. at a friend's house, and then their parents' DVD player was that DVD. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and the butt. Well, I got it. Wait, this is a category: masturbation, masturbation, <laughs> masturbation, sleep podcast, uh. <laughs> masturbation. I don't. One of those is not like the other. Um, a podcast category. Oh my god! Uh, all right, but we are coming. Porn. We are coming up at the end of the segment. We got to pick one or two more uh, things to comment on. Hold on, there was one. There was a good one. Hold on, go, go down, go down. Anybody watching? Oh my god! You, see, you keep seeing from, Daniel Day Lewis's uh, public masturbation. Uh, what was your most ch- cherished childhood gaming memory? Oh, uh, man. Oh, I was actually going to do a top five about this a while, like I say, like a year ago. How would you do that though? Like in a top five, in yeah, our just top, top five, five like like g- gaming memories, like gaming moments. Mm, childhood. I mean, mine has always been. It's funny because it's also <laughs> slightly terrifying to me. But I, I think I may have told this story in the podcast before. But being being told it was a Christmas and it was a, it was I got Goldeneye sixty four for Christmas. And I was at my grandparents' house, and but they wouldn't let me play it upstairs, so I had to go downstairs to play it into their basement because they have like a they had like this like sex entertainment dungeon. area. Yeah, sex, <laughs> they had a sex dungeon downstairs with a TV set up. So no, but they had like a they had like a like a bar and a dance floor and like a living area down in their basement, whatever. But it was like pitch black, and I was terrified of it. But I like had to go downstairs to play it, yeah. and I literally beat Goldeneye sixty four while being terrified because I was like in the dark. I was always looking around. It was horrifying, but six in my brain, and I remember it quite fondly. I, I still remember the day I got my Super Nintendo, which was my first gaming console. I was really fucking young, but I, it was Christmas morning, and we woke up, and on in the living room, like my mom had booted up the console, and it had just like the start screen of Super Ooh, Mario that's, World that's going. Nice, and she had the controllers, and she had bought us, me and my sister, bean bags, so we could sit and like play the game. I, I fucking that's remember cool walking to, out to of my that. room and seeing it, and I was like, oh. Man. Hmm. I think uh, the day I bought my PlayStation, my original one, because that was the first, that was the first gaming console I ever bought with money that I saved, and that was actually like, I was pretty young, so that was like the first big like, long term saving project that I'd ever undertaken. Yeah. I had kind of a similar situation with the PS One as well, and I, but I think more specifically it was when I convinced my parents to let me buy the damn thing. Because I wanted to play Resident Evil Two specifically, and I remember getting it, getting Resident Evil Two, sitting, booting it up, and my dad was sitting there watching me playing it. And I think about five minutes in, he realized he had made a mistake. <laughs> Oops! But I played the fucking shit out of Resident Evil Two. I, I still I, love that game. I think I told this before. I mean, my parents have always thought like video games are the devil, but like there's always like that that those few times where like my dad's like, oh, I think I can get into this, and he, he'd be like playing it, and then. One night in the middle of the night, uh, me and my brothers woke up, and my dad was downstairs fighting in bison. <laughs> <laughs> and he couldn't beat him. He's like, I'm going to get him. But, uh, oh, because I... we had never seen him play the game, but I guess he had been watching us play, <laughs> and he really wanted to take on him bison. That's fucking hilarious. Yeah. All right, let's pick one more. Let's scroll down and see if we got we any other. A bunch of new ones. Ones. Um, Someone said, who would we cast in the movie if it was only female? But you have to cast the person to the right. Oh, well, that's just complicated. Yeah, uh, I can see like Janine Garofalo for Nolan, Natalie Portman for <laughs> Christmas, uh, Kristen Wiig. I'll take that. I'll, I'll take that. I'll take Kristen. Who am I? Oh God! See now it's like okay. now Seth the pressure's Rogen. on. <laughs> Wait, what'd you say, Seth Rogen? <laughs> no, come on, cast a woman. What sexy lady am I? Melissa McCarthy. Hey, she's pretty funny. Yeah, she is. Brad's pretty funny. You take this. Yeah. <laughs> this is gonna be the, the cast of Ghostbusters on the couch here, or at least half of them. Mm. Scarjo. <laughs> sure, Brad. Brad will be Scarlett Johansson. You... Damn it! Damn it! I was gonna say Sh- 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 Sasha Gray. <laughs> Brad. He probably wouldn't get that joke. Oh, Bradley. yeah, Clark. I'll take I was hoping one. for Francis McDermott, but whatever. <laughs> this is a weird question. All right, do we want to answer any more? I've, we did skip over quite a bit, but we do need to we do need to wrap up this segment. And uh, yeah, we're gonna take a quick break. Brad would be hell. This has Keller. been a fun experiment. <laughs> this is. We'll do this on. We'll do this on shows when maybe we don't have anything to. T- 
anything specific to talk about. But when we come back on the other side, we are going to talk about a few news topics as we tease the beginning of the episode. And we're going to answer questions specifically from our patrons. I know that may feel less significant now that we just answered a shit ton of questions from chat. But we're not going to do that every week. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you want to ask us questions on the weekly, you can become one of our, you can support us on Patreon at patreon.com slash four player. Anything over a dollar gets you the ability to ask us questions every week. But let's take a quick break. When we come back, we'll do all that stuff and uh, wrap up the show with the four player minute. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. I don't know. I'm not a big fan of how the Steam sales go nowadays. I miss the days of flash sales and daily deals Damn and all straight. that stuff. Made it more of an event, a fun time. Yeah. Now it's just, hey, what games are on sale? All right, whatever. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna use that as the intro to this segment. Okay. It's relevant, right? It is. We'll just we'll just fit that in there. Pretty sure the only thing relevant right now is PUBG, Nick. You couldn't help yourself. You really couldn't help yourself. PUBG. And this is why no <laughs> one likes Brad. So. We only have a couple news topics this week. We're going to go over here in a second. I just I wanted to give an out. We spent the, the first segment entertaining the uh, the questions from from chat, which is fun. But we did play a few things here and there that we've talked about quite a bit on the show. Did anybody did anybody have anything they wanted to add about games they've we've talked about before? I know I know Nolan, you've started Prey. Well, not started. I mean, continued my. Oh play yeah, through. you'd already started. So um, how far are you now? So that's the thing. So oh, Tuesday okay. night, uh, went Monday. Monday? When did I cast this week? Monday? Yeah. Yes. Whenever. I sit down to play some Prey. And I'm like, all right, chat, listen up. I ain't got no time. So here's what we're going to do. Listen, bitches. We're going to run from main objective to main... I don't think I did a single fucking main objective yeah, the entire not. four hours I played. I just fucking did... Ooh, what's this? Ooh, what's this? Ooh, what's this? Ooh, what's this? For fucking the whole time. And I was like, what the fuck am I doing? But you know what? That's a good That's a good yeah, sign. The, yeah. No, no, that's, it's definitely yeah. not... It's not a bad thing. It's why I love that game. It's just more of a... There's so many games I have to play that it's just I like, will tell you Ugh. this. When you, when I, especially when, like when I was playing Prey, I felt like... I was like, God, this game is going to take forever at the rate I'm going. Mm-hmm. But the game is not as big or as long as you might expect. That's what she said. Like, I did a lot in that game. A lot of side shit. I still finished it in, like, 27 hours or something like that. Okay. Which isn't that much. Like, I spent almost twice that amount of time playing Horizon. So. Yeah. Dude, that's another fucking... I keep seeing it. It's currently at 40 bucks on Amazon. That's the only place it's $40. Damn, I miss it when it was on PSN. Damn. Worth every penny. Dude, get that game. Get yeah, that Crispy, play that game. I have played much of it. He's played play a lot more than more me. More of it. I will. I've only I played will. like five hours. Either way, I'm glad you'll try it. Brad should try it too, but he's too busy playing Tekken. Yeah, no, I mean, I plan to get around to it. And also, since since uh, I'm not a stupid poopy pants, I did play some PUBG for uh-huh. the first time this weekend. I played about, I don't know, four matches. Um, well, the first couple I did by myself, which was kind of a silly thing to just jump into because I had no idea what the fuck was going on. I didn't even know how to use iron sights. It's the only yeah. way you learn. Well, yeah, no, and I learned hard. But the first game, I got like ninth place, which I guess is pretty nice. good with like three kills. Uh, the second game, I did horrible. Uh, and then the third, the third and fourth game, I did uh, co-op with like uh, Chris Someone's Davis like and Jaeger and uh, Cobra. Sounds um, right. And. Uh, I did. Uh, it was fun. I mean, it's definitely more fun playing with other people, uh, the team base, as opposed to single player or single. Cool, cool. But yeah, I mean, it's a good well, game. I'll probably. I'm glad you more. got to play stuff. Yeah, it was a little bit. Finally, no, yeah, yes. finally after you know months of uh, you know being in the process of moving and not being able to play anything, and you know my game room is not set up as y'all can see. I mean, oh, my is PC. This is, it? I mean, <laughs> like, I don't have any consoles out or anything. It's just my PC, which I mean, I guess no. there's plenty on it to play. But I mean, this is a pretty nice little setup here. That's, I think it's the goal. Um, the Dark Knight trilogy. What? He's what? looking at my movies. I've been playing more Tekken. It's pretty good. Thank you, Brad, for playing a lot of matches. Keeping with us K updated. And, K and Cito. All right. Jeez. Nice. <laughs> His Leo is brutal. Oh. 
Brutal. Guys, uh, I I haven't played anything. I've been... It's okay, Crispy. You can I've say been it watching out. movies and oh, building no. Gunpla models. Oh, That's it. Nice. Oh my god, you came back with fucking Gundam. I Fever. know, I did, because I thought Gundam Versus comes out next week. It comes out next week in fucking Japan. Yep. They don't have an official date yet. Nope. It's just December 31st-ish this year, and I want to fucking... Die. No, I'm not going to import it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to import Gundam Breaker 3. Because oh. I was on the fence about that. And I was like, eh, I don't want to spend the money to do this if I'm just getting Gundam Versus next week. And I was like, no. Now that I have no idea when I'm getting Gundam Versus, play Asia, here I come. Nice. Nice. Um, guys, I played Neo on Wednesday night, Tuesday mm. night, whatever the fuck night mm. that Path was. Of Neo? Mm-hmm. No. Neo. 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 Mm. It is... That game is okay. So I play. I've been playing this on the How during my broadcast. Uh, I can't remember the number of hours. I'm on the third region, for, third or fourth region of the game. This okay. the game separated into regions. Yeah. Um, and it is it is amazing the like the peaks and valleys of like playing that game. Like like last week I played the game and it was a fucking disaster. Like I, I played it for like three hours, and I think I made like almost I spent like an. I spent like an hour trying to fight one s- boss, like um, not, not even a, like a main boss, like a boss and like a submission. Which one? Uh, the just the fucking dude, the the you, guy on the hill. Yeah, the guy on the fucking hill. Fucking look at Brad fighting that guy. What does that mean? I had that had a hard time with that guy too. Oh yeah, everyone has a hard time with that guy. Yeah, He's at, not at, easy. At what first, is, what but then he, I hate. Hey, no, it's because his fucking little dog thing that like jumps out randomly. Yeah, but you know what? When like, you when you beat him and you get that dog, holy shit, those yeah. dogs are powerful. They are, yeah. You get oh, dogs? God. Yeah, two. What Dude. does that m- mean? Your guardian spirits, yeah. the, oh. the the animals that you can switch out. That oh, have you get a new abilities. one. That's, yeah, well, you that's get a lot. two dogs. Yeah, yeah. yeah you have so you you, you you get one, which is just they're, one they're dog. Called the puppy but patrol. when you beat the guy in the puppy hill, patrol. you get a second dog. Hmm. Are they yeah. like the cool fucking like ninja dogs? Oh, the the has they look like and they look like little baby Amaterasu's actually. The, I think mm. I'm pretty sure they're Shiba Inus. Yeah. Hey, hey! Remember when you traded in Dragon Quest Builders to get some like. Like some uh, Kurosawa films, and you were like so into Samurais, you're like, I can't wait for Neo to come out because I'm yeah. so into Samurais. Yeah. And you didn't play Neo? Yeah. <laughs> yeah Dude, I, I think you'll like Neo. Dude, just watch like Seven Samurai. I, I, and then you don't, you, good movie. I, are you selling me on Neo? Yeah. Because I know I'm aware. Oh, okay. I'm hundred I mean, percent aware. Crispy, if you want, I have the last was, samurai right there. I was, oh, could, <laughs> that's the best samurai movie I've ever seen. Hey, it's hey, so hey, good. What's wrong with the last samurai? That's another. Shut the fuck up, man. It's a good movie. <laughs> really? I like that movie a lot. Nick, I'm being totally genuine here. Nick. I like that movie a lot. Just, just, just reel it in for a second. The Last Samurai. Just back was... up for a second. Take a look at the bigger picture. Do you really like that movie? I own it. On Blu-ray, yeah. You're hurting so many people right Last now. Samurai <laughs> Last Samurai is, is a, good. Last Samurai is a fine movie, Crispy. It's okay. <laughs> it's all right. Like what's, it's okay. It's okay. I'm sorry. Is it because it has Tom Cruise in it? No. no. Well, <laughs> no, wait, that was before everyone hated Tom Cruise. That it, is it, true. Kind of, kind of, but not like just for Tom Cruise's sake. Roland Hungus says that's a great movie. Gamer Beck says it's all right. But hey, I'm going to take that as a, <laughs> I'm gonna take that as him just being on my side. Split the difference. You know what? Fuck you. I'm going to go watch it's that movie fine. again this weekend. because You want to watch fine. it right now, Nick? Just sure. pop it in. Fuck we, got, this podcast. we got nothing else going on. Let's watch The Last Samurai. They can watch us watch The Last Samurai. Yeah. It's got that one guy from Harry Potter in it. Peter Pettigrew? Yeah. That guy? Wormtail? Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's in it. It does. Yeah. I don't remember anyone else that's in it. Um. I anyway, the point time. I was trying to get to was that is Neo... Ken, Ken Watanabe in it? I feel like... Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Guys, that game is so fucking good. It is. It's another game it's I so need to play. It's so fucking good. And I'm Dude, worried I, people are going to completely I, forget about it by uh, the end of the year. It's right Definitely there on my shelf, Nick. Gonna happen. It's right there. People have already forgotten about it. I, I've got... I've Did locked... you fight the big frog yet? Uh, oh, no. I saw him in the trailer. He looks so cool. Is Dude, it a frog everything toad? about that game is fucking cool. Every level is fucking cool. I'm in a snow level right now, and it's like a They're fucking different. blizzard. It's fucking awesome. Dude. They're different. Everything about that game is fucking fantastic. The level does, like, like, every time I play it, I'm like, God, I kind of wish this was, like, open world, like the original Dark Souls. And then I'm like, but you know what? The fucking level design in each one of these levels is just it's so fucking good, yeah. good. I just, I don't even care anymore. It's like Demon Souls. Yeah, I guess it is. Not really. No, uh, I mean, it's, it probably has more in common with Demon Souls than Dark Souls, but. I've locked into this weird thing where, like, like, like I really want to buy Neo, but I was like, I'm going to wait till the price comes down. Dude, it's not going to go the down. The price doesn't go down. And then. 
And then GameStop had like a weekend sale where they were selling it for like 30, 40 bucks or something like that. And we were in LA. Oh. They have GameStops in LA, bro. I know. I didn't know about it until we got back. Oh, yeah. Oh. And, and, and now I'm like, I refuse. I just refuse to pay sixty dollars. I would lend you mine if I wasn't still playing it. Well, that's very sweet, but I, I it's, like it's I, kind of becoming. I my... really want to play that game, and I, it, I will play that game before the end of this year. That game will be on my list of consideration for the. Dude, I think I think game that is a year, game that is absolutely but... like deserving of game of the year stuff. I am I am genuinely worried that like some places are just going to completely overlook it. Yeah, everyone. No, it's definitely going to happen. I mean, it just came out. It, yeah. it came out at a weird time too because there was. A couple big things right around it. Dude, there was, well, the first the first half of this year in general has been like XCOM two. Twenty seventeen is super front loaded. Was XCOM two this year? No, no, last no, last year, last year, last year. No. no. Also, wait for Black Friday. King, something. King Carrie says Black yeah, Friday. That's probably yeah, not bad. Uh, Yaku- yeah, oh, that's what, that's what it was. That's what it was. You were so adamant about me playing Yakuza Zero. Oh, like that's so that fucking I, crazy. Dude. That I forewent picking up. Like I was playing Yakuza. And then Neo Something came out, and I was world. like, "No, no, no! I'm gonna restrain myself." Where that get you? You know what? You know what's really uh, another like two weeks of Yakuza. Before what's up, Nick? It's really weird. Mountain Mountain Doom and chat mentions this. I'm surprised nobody here has even has played or even mentioned that they want to play the Surge. I don't. I've seen it, and uh, it's not for me. It's I mean, it's fucking me. like sci-fi Dark Souls. No, like, I understand. Made by the Lords of the Fallen. Yeah, people, people. Like, keep I saying understand. that. People keep saying it's sci-fi Dark Souls, but like when I look at it, I don't know. It, 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 it feels about gross. It, it feels really me. grody. But like the like the buzz around it has been fairly positive. I know, so, but it's been not fairly. Like Souls- it's been fairly positive. It hasn't been like, hey, drop what you're doing and play me. You know what I'm saying? But, like, we're a video game podcast. We talk about so many random things. Like, so many games that, like, people would never even dream of playing. I figured one person would be like, I picked up The Surge this week. And I'd be like, what's The Surge? And then someone would tell it's me about it. It's been a like, tough I year to pick yeah. up everything. Chris Davis, what, what's, uh, what's the current rating for The Surge on Steam? Oh, a ratings guy over here. I mean, no, I just want to know. I'm just curious. It's, so like, mixed? Like a 78. Mostly positive? Well, let's keep this. Oh, I would assume it's probably mostly yeah. on Steam. Oh, you can't trust. You can't mostly trust. Mostly positive. You can't trust Steam because it could be like technical stuff. You gotta look up actual reviews. Yeah. Uh, was there anything else just you want to talk about in this? No, segment? no, no. no. I, 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 I said everything I wanted to say about yeah. about Neo. I'm just saying. I just want to kind of wanted to plant that bug in your ear. That's not a thing. It is a thing. Planting a bug in your ear is a thing, right? Someone's, can anyone? No, Nick, you plant the bug in the butt. No, like an ear bug is like seventy three. Yeah. Is like a song you can't get out. Getting of your a head. bug up your ass is definitely a thing. I feel like I've heard of. I think you have to see a doctor some... after that. No. Ass bugs. Yeah. Bug up your ass means you're you're ass you're buggers. you're in a rotten mood. No, no, Bugging that's your not ear what that like, means. Yeah, it is. No, no, no. no. So getting something stuck in your craw means you're in a bad mood. Yeah. Getting having a bug up your ass means you're you're a fucking you're in a, you're an a, being an asshole. I think that's a stick up your ass. No, 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 no. Stick up your ass. Yeah. See, yeah, I, it's I, a, I had a anything old, maybe, up your maybe ass. There's a bro. bug on the stick. No, no. See, my old boss uh, used, used to use yeah. that. They're like, hey, a Brad, if you get a bug up your ass, oh, that's, that's what you're thinking. Get a stick bug right, up your ass. Right, right. Yeah. Like from Bugs Life. Yeah. David Hyde Pierce played a stick bug. I hate all of you. <laughs> uh, anyways, that's all we have impressions wise. Yeah, I think you can probably see why we decided to do the first segment the way we did. So we have a, we have a, literally a couple news topics to talk about this week. I want to talk the first one. I'm going to talk about. I'm going to let y'all kind of lead this conversation. It has to do with Nintendo. Hmm? The probably, <laughs> probably the biggest thing to happen this this week with Nintendo. Yeah. They announced the cla- the SNES Woo! Classic. Chaos and Sea. And it's already gone. Well, that's not a, it's not like a real actually thing, haven't right? opened up for in the US yet. Yeah. Uh, but Nintendo says that they plan to make way more than they did of the NES. But like but like the European pre-orders went away like Yeah, bad, they did. Yeah, right? but that, that's cuz you had a lot of North American people pre-ordering. But for Europe. Hasn't from Europe. hasn't Nintendo Europe been like way more on the ball with like their supply no, than Nintendo of North America? Like I feel like everything really cool has been going to Europe and not coming to North America. Well, I mean, so I mean, like if in terms if, of if, raw sales, if you're knows? using that as a barometer and Europe sold out like All right. in an instant, doesn't Here, that mean that like for us it basically doesn't exist unless you have like? Can someone tell me why I should be excited about this thing? Because I, the Super Nintendo is literally one of the greatest 
systems ever made, and this game has a lot of those games. <gasps> it has a lot, but I still don't know if it's like. But I feel no, like if you really care trigger. about those games, don't most people already? Can I plug my DualShock no. Four? The thing into is, it? so many of these games are like super rare and expensive. Yeah. Now the thing is, you can get a lot of them. On like virtual console, but if you bought all those, it would cost way more than the price of the SNES Mini. Or you could emulate them. So what do we I mean, have here? We sure, have, but like, so, okay, but, so, hey, we but have the list in front of a, us. It's a cool package. It yeah. comes with all these games that are a great value, and it comes with two no, controllers. It's, it's cool. I it's mean, cool. I think the biggest thing here is obviously the Star Fox Two thing. If it right? was, if well, it was like of, on every store shelf, and it, and you could just like go in, and you didn't have to make a whole huge like. Like, I don't know. I mean, there are some... Can I read we didn't have to make a huge yeah, production Nick, yeah, about let's, getting let's go through I'm going to read the list of all the games that are on this Chris on this Davis, thing. can you uh, actually pull I, the list? You want me to read it in case you don't... Yeah. Oh, go fuck yourself, Well, sure. some of the things are hard to read. I mean, I, I'm pretty sure I got... Just I'm, 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 so I'm just, older, I'm, Nick. I'm, no, uh, Nick, I'm just saying it's a list of the box art, oh, and not all the box art is, is super, like, super obvious. I mean, I, th I think uh, a physical list of games like that right there. Okay, go for it, Brad. Oh, okay. Yeah, you volunteered. Contra 3, Alien Wars, it's a good Contra game. Great game. Donkey Kong Country, you know... Good. I think two's the better game. Donkey Kong Country's good though. Oh yeah, absolutely. I already had Earthbound. Earthbound. That's I a good get. Earthbound's a good game. See, like we're already getting into rare, expensive games. Final Fantasy three, which is Final Fantasy six, yep. which is the best one. Again, I'm still fucking rare confused and expensive. about that. They're yeah. still calling it three though. They it's are. three in America. It's three in America. That was actually the sixth <laughs> Final Fantasy. Yeah. So like when seven rolled around, this is the I, literally the one right before seven. So three and six in America are the same game. No. no. Yeah, three is three six. is six. But like when I see Final Fantasy six here in America, I'm always seeing Final Fantasy six. Yeah, that, which is that's because they re-released it for like the PlayStation and yeah, everything okay. else, and they just kept calling it six. But when it was on the Super Nintendo, it was the third Final Fantasy that game that came out. So I'm confused. What is Final Fantasy three? Sounds like like the actual game. Final Fantasy three in yeah. Japan. It was a game a that never got game. released here. Yeah, it eventually got remade for the original DS. For the oh. DS, yeah. Yeah, but that was the only version we was ever that got. The, oh, I played that. The crystal. Yeah. I had that. Yeah, that one's not Crystal okay. Chronicles. It's yeah. like maybe my least favorite Final Fantasy. All right, continuing. F Zero. That's a great game. Curve Kirby Superstar. Good game. Dream Course is a weird choice. Yeah. That's like the golf Kirby game. Yeah. That's awesome. That's a weird choice, but look at the rest of the list. It's a weird. Like, why not Link Chrono to the Trigger? Past, Mega Man X. Yeah. Secret of Mana. That's a game I've always been Star to play. Fox. And we'll save we'll save the next one. Super uh, Super uh, Street Fighter Two Turbo Hyperfight. That's like probably the best version of Street Fighter Two on the Super Nintendo. Mm -hmm. Got to have that. It's a good I would get. Say it's one of the best versions of that game. Period. Super Castlevania Four. I mean, if you mm. like if you like Castlevania, pre Symphony of the Night, I guess. Uh, Super Ghouls and Ghosts. That game's impossible. <laughs> So, uh, Super Mario Kart, uh, Super Mario RPG, good get again, yeah, that's expensive. Good. Super Mario World, you gotta have it. Super Metroid, Super Punch Out, Yoshi's Island. Some of the I'm great surprised Yoshi's Island's on there, honestly, out of some other of the games they could have. I mean, yeah, no, it's it's Super Mario World too. Hey, hey, if anyone here likes Yoshi's Island, it's fucking me. Does any of y'all have a copy of that? I have one in the other room. Not anymore. I own but the cart. I do. But hold huh? on, wait, what are you doing? Who's doing uh, Chris Davis? See. I mean, Chris doing? doing that. That's, that's Crispy's taking control. Assuming direct it? control. It comes with two controllers. It's 80 bucks. 250 pounds? What? No. That's heavy. For oh, it's for 10. What are you looking at? The it's 80 bucks. Mini was priced at 49.99. No, it's Wait. that was 60 bucks. It came with one controller. And this is in pounds. And there, any, pounds. and there were NES games. If you have any questions, I can answer them for you, Crispy. I mean, this is going to be $60. No, listen to me. No, Stop that. Go I, back to the list. What? $70. Crispy, you were, $70. you were officially confusing the people yeah. listening to the show. It's $80. It comes with two controllers. It comes with all these games. <laughs> what console is this again? <laughs> one of these games is Star Fox 2, which has never, ever been released, because that was a game that uh, was finished and canceled. It never came out. Wow. Because by the time it was finished, the N64 was already coming out, and they were like, well, this game looks like shit. We need to focus on the 64. So, is, so it's literally never been released. The ROM has been out there. So if you wanted to play Star Fox 2, you can. Um, but this is the first official release of Star Fox 2, which means if you pick up a SNES Mini and you play the game and you like it, Star Fox 2 absolutely applies for Game of the Year awards. Yeah. Oh, my God, because it came out this year. Yes. It's a 2017 game. I don't have all of those games, but I have some of them. Here's Donkey Kong Country, Super Mario World. I do too. Donkey I Kong Country too. Super Mario Kart, Cool Spot, F Zero. I'm definitely missing some of my games. Like I don't cool know. Cool Spot, my... the Seven Up game. Yeah. 
The point is, a lot of these games are rare and expensive, right. and a lot better than a lot of the games on the NES. I feel like the NES, it's legacy, but a lot of those games don't hold up as well right. to like a modern audience. But these games, Super a Nintendo. lot of these games still really hold but up. But I'm not going to let myself get excited for this, because it's, you're it's going to be You're not going to get your hands on No one's going to get their hands on this. I already thing. have one pre-ordered from Europe. You do? Yeah. You're one of those assholes? How does that work? Do they mail it to you? Amazon UK. Mm. Amazon people UK are, is going to ship it? People are yeah. saying they're going to ship it. Yeah, they will. I mean, Gosh. I don't know. There's some debate as to whether that's going to happen. I wouldn't hold my breath on that. When is this supposed to come out again? They're going to ship it. Like, How much are they charging for that? I don't know. <laughs> I've got shipped for free from Amazon UK. Price is not a, it's not <laughs> a matter of price. It's I just think it happen. ended up being like $91 converted for me. So when is this supposed to ship? Uh... Well, uh, it comes out like the last day of September or whatever. And whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, It says I'm supposed to get it like October 10th. Or so it's... Three days before my birthday? Just uh, throw enough out there? It's... F- Good luck. Good luck. 59 pounds 99, right? I guess. That's what I was listening at? Or I think it was 66 when I pre-ordered. They're probably going to adjust it down, but yeah. How good's the pound doing? Because aren't you just paying more? Not great. Yeah, I'm paying more. Paying more. Yeah. Yes, I'm paying a little more. Mm. But I mean, yeah. but the, the point is, still over the dollar. The right? point if is, if I get a North American a pre-order, I'll cancel the European one. But I might not get a North American pre-order because Nintendo is saying they're going to do a much better job of shipping this out than the classic the, NES. The, but, uh, the other thing is, though, Europe had the Super Famicom model, so it doesn't look like a U.S. Super Nintendo. Dude, that one looks so much better. Colors. I mean, yeah, some people like that one better. I, honestly, I think it's like grass is always greener. Um, but the, the, but just so I'm clear, this is an act. This is this is just a, a device shaped like the console that has the games digitally yeah. inside it, right? There's yeah, no yeah, voltage it's, conversion. It's, it's all USB power. Is, this, is not, this is not like an actual points. NES, right? You can't like pop games into this and play it. This no, is just it's a, just got these 21 so, games. Although the the class, NES class was got cracked Crispy? pretty quick. 69? Which means 69? people just loaded everything on so, there. Divided by points um, so so what, are what are y'all fucking doing over there? Math. pounds to dollars. Your shit's by your mics, though. I'm in airplane mode. It doesn't matter for me. You're paying $78. Plus shipping. So, are you, what are y'all thinking? Y'all gonna get one? I mean, there's some great games on there. It's, I, I feel they, they're so cool looking. If I thought also, also it, the controller cables were longer. If I thought I stood a snowball's chance in hell of actually getting one, yeah, I'd probably. If I, if I, you never know. There's probably not. Nintendo enough. says they're gonna make a lot more. <sighs> okay. But they're only gonna sell them this year. Okay. I mean, like, I don't. I, I don't believe it when I say it. I don't think there's enough games in there that I that I could re- I really realistically expect myself to go back and play, that I can't already get digitally somewhere else. That's true, but you're not. If you have this thing, you are way more likely to play those because you're not going to buy them digitally. Yet I mean, I, 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 well, like this is essentially physical for you, because they're there. They're on. The, they're they're on the system. This is one situation where if Nick. I was going to play any of those games, I'd probably like if I was going to play Final Fantasy VI. There's like. A bunch of ways I can play Final Fantasy. No, but that's a that's HDMI. You just plug it in, boom, Whoa. you're playing Final Fantasy VI with a Super Nintendo Whoa. controller. Or, 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 I know how much you like throwing money at your problems, but you already... What <laughs> the sorry. fuck does that mean? You already have this machine. It's called a computer. Nope. You just emulate it. So. And you can use a DualShock 4. He's definitely not going to Which is a better that. controller. You know what? I'll come over to your house and I will set up an emulator with all those ROMs on it for you. And I'll put it in a little folder that says SNES Mini. And then it's just on your desktop. And oh, there you yes. go. At that point, why don't you just get a yes, retro There are emulators out there. It's true. It's still a really cool thing. Yeah. No, it, it is. For cool, one of the great It's a cool product. So it's it a is. cool product. I'm glad we talked about it. Let's move on. <laughs> but I mean, it's, it's a cool collector's item. Yeah. yeah. It's not like a cool. I want to play this. Also, game you got to remember. You got to think back. Like my history with the with the SNES. Literally, I got an SNES. Uh, and I played Mario Kart on it, and then I think I got rid of it when I got my N sixty four. You fool! I know, I know. It's a really, really, really Mario weird, Kart is on this. dark. It comes time two controllers. My, two controllers. It's That's a cool. dark time in my gaming history. I did not like games, video games, very much when I had my SNES. So. You're a bad person. Damn. Yeah. If I, I never, I you know what? I never owned a SNES. Maybe I should. Maybe just to like complete myself, to round myself out as a person, I should buy well, this you, thing. Le- you recently played Super Metroid and Link to the Past, and there's many more cool Super, Super Metroid and Link to the Past. I know a lot of people are like disgusted by the by my admission there, but no, nah, you were young. It's understandable. 
What if we all did? I actively that? disliked video. Not okay. Sorry, I didn't actively dislike video games. I just didn't care for you them. You didn't very much. actively. All right. What what else is in the news? Uh, the other news topic this week is what we kind of alluded to at the very beginning of the show. When we're talking about prey, but the president of Arcane, Rafael Colantonio, mm-hmm. uh, has stepped down. Brad, he says for like personal reasons. Oh, I want to spend time with my family and whatever. Um, which is not completely unrealistic. I mean, related? like he's delivered. He's delivered several hit games. I don't feel like there's really reason it's not to just believe. Prey. You think it's just general underperformance of Dishonored Two underperformed as well. It did. I think this is a. Cleaning house. I don't know. I don't know. Like maybe he was convinced to retire or to move on or to quit. But I feel like if, if this was really a result of those games underperforming, I feel like there would have been lay- more layoffs. I feel like we. I, would I mean, they might not be there yet. That might be coming. You know, I this mean, this might be a stopgap to prevent. The that. thing is, this is also mm-hmm. like this is an industry that is like where literally people like when they get hired to work on a game, a lot of times it's under the it's kind of just under the impression that there's a good chance I'm going to work on this game and then that's going to be it. Like, I might get laid off. People move around this industry like fucking crazy. Unfortunately. Yep. Uh, it's unfortunate, but it's also just the nature of the industry. People kind of under, kind of understand that and they, I mean, that's just... Yeah, but I mean, he, he's a big, not, he was a big part of what has made modern arcane, you know? That's like, true. Like, him and, you know... But, but anything, the, but, but... I mean, as, but anything Smith. beyond what he said at this point is is really just like conspiracy theory right now, right? Like it's well, like I all mean, we have to go on is what he has said. There has been nothing else said about it. Sure, it's still significant. Yeah, but I mean, like he's going to he's going to be replaced by somebody, and well, I'm yeah. sure Arcane is still going to make games. Well, supposedly Harvey Smith has come back to Austin and he's no longer going to be at uh, Chris Davis' Harvey. audio is going to be horrible. Yeah, sorry. We got, Harvey, Harvey Smith. This is one of, having Chris Davis in the room with us is weird because he chimes in sometimes. Yeah. I mean, we need to find a way to have a, yeah, like, a, like, a, like a basic yeah, mic chat. You got to use your notepad. Oh. Here, <laughs> so, let me, let me I know you're in the room with us, Chris Davis, but you got to continue using your little notepad to talk to us. There you go. Uh, use the calculator. Talk, talk to us in binary code. Turn it upside down. Spell boobs. Zero one one zero one zero zero one one one. Oh my God! Stop it, Chris Davis. Or not Chris Davis. Chris B. <laughs> Too many Chris's in this room. Plus three. Oh no! Crashed the system. Anyway. Anyways. Uh, yeah, you're right. I mean, it's it's significant. Is anybody worried about Arcane? I'm not. Uh, I don't think I've reached the point of concern yet. Do we? I mean, do we know for certain if Prey underperformed? I'm, I mean, do you mean worried in the sense that like we think their studio is actually in trouble, or worried in the sense that we think that the quality of what they will produce going forward will be diminished in either I think it's quality more, or scope? I'm gonna go with the first one, which is I think it's more of just concern about what this means for the studio as a whole, and whether or not they're gonna be able to be allowed to continue making the kinds of games that they make. Like if like if we get an announcement from Arcane within the next year, and they're like working on something that is like much smaller in scope, and not nearly as interesting Small as game. anything they've worked on before, then you can consider me worried. Yeah, they do have two studios. But Bethesda has also been making you know a lot of interesting choices. I th- I don't think the Evil Within, I think that game underperformed too, didn't it? And that's getting a sequel and. Like they don't, they don't necessarily just can studios. I mean, and presidents projects. don't just step down though. Like when they have like big successful companies, some yeah. I mean, but is wrong. Some cases, or like it could be like health reasons. Could be. Yeah. Could I mean? He could a- it could absolutely be health reasons, or maybe he literally is just have. Maybe he just really does want to spend more time with his family. Mm-hmm. You do know, game development is like incredibly intensive and requires you know a lot of time away from home, and maybe that. That can probably have an impact on it's certain true. people's mental. Some of Some, us, uh, sometimes the best just walk away, you know. Like remember when Steven Soderbergh was like, "I'm just not going to direct anymore. I'm going to paint." And you were just like, "No, what? No, why?" Remember, remember when? Uh, uh, oh, God damn it! And then he directed fourteen. What's more the actor? Yeah, and then he came back. Remember when Daniel Day Lewis walked away from mm-hmm. acting to be a dressmaker? He yeah. did that again. Yeah. I know that's what I'm saying. Oh. So I was, uh, now he's going to make barrels. I mean, they he's call left that before. A, uh, He's left before. A Cooper. There you go. Yeah. He's like Vigo Mortensen. You know, he comes and goes. <sighs> Anyways, that, that's it for the news this week. Yeah. So, Shit. Nolan. What up? Hit us with those sweet, sweet questions. We're going to answer them. Oh, shit. 
We're going to answer hey, more questions. <laughs> questions from our community patrons. Got some good questions this week. First question from Nexus. If you had a doppelganger somewhere in the world... Matt Damon. Where would he be... Where would he be from? And what main defining character trait would he have or lack? Where would he be... Like what Where would like, he be yeah, from? A doppelganger, yeah, like maybe not. First America. of all, if I had a doppelganger out there in the world, I would have no say in where he is from. What? Well, it's, I mean, doppelgangers. They could be any. Could be anywhere. I there was a doppelganger. I had a doppelganger when I was in college. That's a D- Dr. Pepper ripoff. Yeah, yeah, and they were really good. It's <laughs> great. Story. Actually, actually, no. Dublin Dr. Pepper still existed while I was in college. So, um. So, I don't know where he's from, but he went to school in Central Florida. Wait, you were in Florida. <gasps> I was in Florida. Were you in Central Florida? At the same school, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. What if he's your bro? Wait, Wait, why didn't you just say you went to the same school as me? Why didn't you say Wait, hold on. He went to school. Well, I mean, say, where is he from? Not, you know, I oh, have okay. a new patron. Like, geographically. Oh, I missed. Yes, we do. The Soup Nazi. Oh, Soup Nazi. Oh. No podcast for you. Secret Evil that, Twin? That is the thank only you for Thank you for becoming a patron, day. Soup Nazi. I think I saw Soup Nazi in chat a little while ago. Soup Nazi was in chat a while back. Yeah, he's been in a lot of our streams lately. Thanks. My thanks doppelganger for is from Germany. <laughs> Dude, isn't your doppelganger uh, from Kiss? And he plays only <laughs> dudes in video games <laughs> and only the popular video games like PUBG. Oh my god. Dude, let's let's PUBG be, and Overwatch. Let's be and real here, dude. Your Gene Simmons, young Gene Simmons is your is your doppelganger. I think you're Gene Simmons' double. Oh, yes. PUBG. And you lack his singing talent. That's less. May. I love May. May is Bay. What are you. What? My oh, doppelganger he plays, loves Overwatch. Because he plays Overwatch. Mm. Oh. Uh, my movie. doppelganger would be from Sao Paulo. <laughs> uh, and um, he would only play sports games. <laughs> Dude, I don't know. Because he's from South Valley. Yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I don't know. He loves FIFA. My doppelganger would probably be from somewhere in, in in central Idaho. And he'd be tall. <laughs> he'd, be, he'd probably be a little bit taller than me. Less successful. Oh. I think I think Fuck if, that guy. <laughs> like if I had a true evil doppelganger, he'd probably be from New England somewhere, and he'd probably be just like really into Wolverine. <laughs> Yeah, you like. I thought maybe Lo- I thought maybe watching Logan would would turn turn crispy around a little bit. No, I I have nothing. I have no problem with the character. I just don't want to be like seen with him. If you know what I'm saying. <laughs> oh, that's associated a weird, with that's a weird thing to say. You're one of those cool comic book guys. Wow, I don't like to brag, but. <laughs> Uh, let's with Green Lantern spinners. Hit us with another question, Nolan. All right. Wait, next Cobra question. Cobra says there's a guy at work that his work that looks like Nick, and he's he's super tall. Found and he wait what? He's there's super a guy tall. at my work that looks like Nick, and he's all right. Super next tall. question from Mr. Green Toast. Fuck Mary Kill, Tekken series, Street Fighter series, Mortal Kombat series. Tekken, Street Fighter, Mortal Kombat. I would f- I would fuck Mortal Kombat. Mm, you fuck Mortal Kombat. Fuck Mortal which Kombat. lady in Mortal Kombat do you want to bone? Like that, which that one has do the, I? Which one do I? No, no, no. Shiva, man. You, Shiva, you, come you on. kill Mortal Kombat <laughs> because it would be the most spectacular, gory kill yeah, of the bunch. Yeah, there you mm. go. And like none be of like the a women. Fatality. None of the women. You'd fuck Street Wait, Fighter. Wait, none of the women in Mortal Kombat versus Tekken and Street Fighter? They actually have, like, good character artists. All right, you know, I'd probably fuck Street Fighter. Yes, you would. Oh, uh, yes, you would, because you're an ass man, Nick. I am. I am. <sighs> got Cammy. Got Cammy just Lee. sit on my face. Oh, Laura, my God. Laura. 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 Street Fighter 5. Yeah. Uh, ooh, All yeah. those Cammy knockoff the characters. Green? Man. Wait, what's yeah, the one green? Yeah, yeah, totally. I, I Lady Blanca. I would fuck Street Fighter. Uh, I, yeah, okay, Lady you're right. Blanca. And then the thing is, I would kill Tekken. Tekken just because I really I've, I've tried to like get it or like, yeah, like try Tekken. to play shit. You marry Tekken because marry it's a Tekken. marriage of convenience because you have to marry Tekken in order to bone Street Fighter. That's it. That's the only reason. That's all you need. I think we're all in agreement. I'd marry Tekken because they have a bear and bears are cool. Bears Moving are cool. on. Next question oh, from tell Cobra. Me more. Question for everyone. Have you had the ability to go see any band you wanted, whether it be living, they be living or dead, who would you go see and why? I would see Vampire Weekend. 
Baby, 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 row down down. I so almost... One song and then you walk out. <laughs> yes. I almost... You're one of those assholes. <laughs> I almost bought tickets to the Pixies, but I heard the Pixies aren't that great. I I've time. seen the Pixies I would live. go see the Chainsmokers. At, oh, at ACL. <laughs> I did not like them. But then again, mm-hmm. I also did not know who they were at the time. Nick, would you want to go see Chainsmokers? No. I would not like to go see Chainsmokers. It's a joke, Nick. I know. Because we have. I, know. I guess I would want to see out. the Beatles. I would want to go see... I, w- I would want to go see ELO like in their prime because I've heard that was LMFAO? just insane. LMFAO? Electric fun. Light Orchestra? I heard that was just like a fucking insane concert. They'd like come out of a giant flying saucer. Ooh, and Queen. Queen. Would Queen would be good. Queen would be good. Um, I mean, there's a lot of old bands that would be good. I don't know. No, man. I like to see some, like, old-timey, like, Renaissance-era shit. See, I are thinking too modern. No, Fuck dude, I, I... I want to see some, like, live sea shanties. <laughs> That'd be horrible. <laughs> what? Go see Duke Ellington. I don't know. I feel like every time someone's I like... I be on a boat. I feel like every time it's like, what band would you love to see? And everyone's like, oh, I'd love to see... Wrong. You're wrong. And just, you know, they, everyone naturally go... Beatles is one, one mm. of those common ones. But, and, yeah. Because they're pretty good, and they were gone. They, it stopped. I know. I'm just. I'm just. just, I've never been like. I've never been huge fan of like Mm -hmm. classic rock. Let's get a little toast. Tommy Dorsey. Not that I'm saying I would ever turn down an opportunity to see the Beatles. I I would never Uh, turn down. Next question from the Soup Nazi: If four players cease to exist, what would you see yourself doing now? No question for you. (laughs) If we didn't (laughs) exist, carpentry. Oh God. Um, If we didn't exist. Carpentry. What would I see myself doing? I mean, I'd probably just spend more time doing web development and like actually learning more about that. Like right now, I, just, I don't. Spend I spend a lot of my time working on this instead of. I probably spend myself progressing that, I'd but probably spend a lot more time playing interesting games that y'all don't care to watch because all y'all want to watch is PUBG. Man, fucking salty bread. Yeah. Fucking salty. This is what was wasn't there another game like this that Brad got really salty about recently and I can't remember what it was. Pretty much any game that's popular that Brad doesn't play, like Overwatch. Maybe it was Overwatch. <laughs> Phenomenon games where people can't stop talking about them and they turn into memes and grossness. Brad just hates when other people are happy. I mean, that's what it all boils down to. No, he no. hates when too many people are happy. Yeah. No. Like Undertale was another one Brad kind of No, but I really on. love Undertale. I didn't say you didn't. Undertale's a good game. Anything else? Anybody else? Gross I fan would business. have more hobbies. Hmm. More than you already have? Yeah. <laughs> really? <laughs> Going for 13 you know, more hobbies? hobbies? Yeah. yeah. Well, see, the problem is, is that Isn't like, this I, just one of them? I, I just kind of like cycle through them. I don't do them you all. You don't do them all at once. You just go in phases. Yeah. Like a hobby I think, a month. Yeah, like by this point, I'd, I'd probably be like, I don't know, like playing Warhammer 40K or something. <laughs> like just. All right. Final question for this evening. From probably read more. Alfian. Freaky Friday situation. Who in the group would you want to switch places with for a day? Not Brad. He's about to have a kid. <laughs> crispy. Uh, I want to see what Crispy does. Yeah, I think I'd switch bodies with Crispy for a day. You guys have no idea how I live my life. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you know what? Never mind. I take that back. I think I'd want to switch bodies with Nolan. My life's pretty great. I'm not going to elaborate. No. I, I I would want to switch places with Nick just to see if his day to day is exactly how I imagine it. Well, okay, I want to know. I feel what... like I've got you pinned down from nine to five. Like, like, wait, like, nine to five? You uh, know exactly. Okay, I'm what sorry. I'm, doing I'm sorry. From like seven a.m. to like midnight, I think I've got most of your week down. I, 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 would I want you to. I kind of want you to elaborate. <laughs> I would on assume that. four out of the five days, Nick pulls up into his garage. Shuts the door, walks into his house, turns open the fridge, and takes out mushrooms and just starts eating them. Yeah. You know, when I have like them... Four out of five days. So, no, no, when I have them on hand... When I have them on hand... When I have them on hand, I do... I, I absolutely do that. Okay, okay. Just, just answer me this. We don't have to get into the whole schedule, but, like, how many times a week do you masturbate, and what time of day does it most often occur? Okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> Are you like a, are you like a shower or like an I in bed with had, a sock kind of guy? Or I thought you had me warm, all figured out. You've got that giant fence in your backyard now. Do you yeah. just like a nice like I just summer's walk, just, like, I just a nice in, summer's jerk? I like, just walk into the backyard and just jerk off against my fence. Is that what you're yeah. saying? Well, no, just in your backyard. Can't open like, the microwave for thirty it. seconds. What, what? did happen to that raccoon? Oh, God. Oh, you just, you're just you like enjoying that? your your private backyard. 
You don't have to jerk off on the fence. I'm just saying, like, I mean, if you want to, if that's what, if that's <laughs> your thing, I don't know. I thought you had me. Okay, out. okay, just, just how many times a week? No, <laughs> this is, no. You're Are not, we at a one a day? You're not tricking me into one a day answering ratio, this question on the podcast. Higher, lower, higher. Well, I would imagine maybe slightly lower now <laughs> that you're like involved. <laughs> Thanks. Right? Well, I'm just or saying. maybe more. I'm just saying. Afternoon delight? Like you ever I'm like you take Nolan. long lunch breaks? Do you ever just like you know one day you're like I'm not that hungry I'm just gonna pop it. in the bath? I got I've the, I got about a good it. answer. Okay, I'm gonna switch with Nolan. Not because I want to be Nolan, but because I know Thanks. when he's me, he'll probably fix a bunch of shit around my house. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Oh, I forgot you have to switch places with him. Mm-hmm. Oh, I might mm-hmm. change my answer. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. I was like, I thought Whoa. I was like, I was like, maybe I'll go with Brett. No, no, no. I'd go no. Chris Davis. I'm carefree. He's also got cats. I like Free, cats. Freewheeling and fancy. You become free. him and you just have to play the division. Go. <laughs> the controller will be in your hand and it'll be on in front of you. I'm fairly certain he plays with the mouse and keyboard. Oh. Yeah. All right, well, anyway, that's all the questions. From this week, thanks to all our patrons for asking those crazy kooky questions. Yes, if you're if you're interested in supporting us on Patreon, you can find us at patreon.com slash four player. Thank you, Nolan. <laughs> uh, so let's wrap this show up with the four player minute. How about Go that? Oh crispy. Okay. What? My hype is for Star Trek Bridge Crew. Which I'll be buying on for you. Saturday. Oh, you need that, it on Saturday. That that sugar daddy Nick's buying for me. Thank you, Daddy. Uh, my oh, that was sweat, really weird. My sweat is that I, I I didn't even realize until today that I hadn't played a video game in a week, and and that that week just slipped away from me. And it's it, you know it's it's the same old standard time. There's not enough of it, kind of sweat, but like like this summer has been a fucking clusterfuck, and I don't know. When I'm like all, I, all I can think of is is like games that I've just forgotten that I even started, like Prey and Yakuza Zero, and haven't even considered buying Neo yet, and I'm still somehow gonna play that before the end of the year. Oh fuck that! Uh, my uh, my fuck you for the week goes to I don't know me or time or. Bandai Namco, or whoever the fuck led me to believe that Gundam Versus was coming out <laughs> next week, only to just now, during this podcast, find out that it wasn't. I hate everything. My thank you goes to... Nolan for letting us use his wonderful new house as our podcast studio. Thanks, bud. You're welcome. All right. Nolan, go. Oh, shit. Uh, Alright, my hype uh, is video games. I don't care which one, just, like, fucking put a controller in my hand finally. Now that I'm, you know, mostly settled. Uh, which kind of leads into my sweat, that I'm not completely settled. For the people in this room who have seen my house, it's definitely not completely on Yeah, you still got some work to do out there, Nolan. What's yeah, up with that? quite a bit. Um, uh, which kind of also leads into my, my, my fuck you, because, to myself... Because there's so much shit, like, oh, oh, I have a house, now I can do this, and I can do this, and I can do this, and I'm like, no, stop. How about you just fucking do nothing for a little while, and let, like... Gotta just... be careful with that, though. Yeah, I know. Because well, then nothing ever happens. Well, no, it's not that, it's just, uh, Nick, I have a list, like, 30 things long of things I want to do. Mine's not 30, pi- not that long, but I have, a, I have a similar list, and every time I think about doing anything on that list, it starts to get overwhelming, and then I just, like, don't do, do nothing. it. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like my life. That's why I hired um, painters, because I was like, oh, yeah. I'm just going to have someone do it. Yeah. Uh, and then my thank you is going to go to Bernadette, uh, because she's been doing a lot lately uh, that's been really helpful. And she gave us these little gift bags for our she first did. podcast. Oh, that's and, very nice. And, yes. yeah. Oh, yeah. Thanks. Thank You know, fuck it. Thank, thanks, Bernadette. Fuck you, Nolan. Bernadette's the one who did everything. She's the one that gave us bad. Oh, I forgot. I haven't, I haven't been eating my gummy bears yet. Well, during the segment. Anyways. You're on a schedule. Go, Nick. Me? Really? Yeah. I usually go last. Brad's incredibly unprepared. I can go. My hype is for the rest of this year. You know, there's so many good video games coming out. Yeah. So many good. Some come out, like, soon. Yeah. Like, there's some stuff in soon, like, this summer. Yeah, no, there is. He sweats for the rest of the like, year. Like, the new Uncharted comes out, like, in August. Yep. 
Um, but uh, but uh, Divinity Original Sin Two. Oh. I, I, I pop I pop that in. Looking at the character creator again. Oh my god! I can't wait. Three hundred September. Mm. Mm. My sweat is. I guess if anything coming out this year it still has me a little worried. I, I, I really wasn't sold on what I played of Nino Kuni Two yeah. at E three. So I really hope that one comes out well. Um, Although I think the problem is they just demoed two boss battles. How much of Nino Kuni One did you play? I can't remember. He played a pretty I, big. I played chunk a of fair it. amount until I kind of lost interest. But um, so I'm a little worried because I, I was always expecting this one to be like the Dark Cloud Two yeah. of you know level five. Kind of I mean, it, it, kicking it ass could for the be. sequel. It could it be. It could be. We don't know. We don't the know. fact that they change so much makes me hope that they change it for the better. Yeah, <laughs> I do too. Uh, my my fuck you goes to myself and Tekken. I am obsessive. I play like I I, I can play for like fifteen hours in one sitting without breaking a sweat. Like seriously, it's kind of scary. Um, and I'm not playing other games, but I mean I can't be ashamed. I love Tekken, and this is a good one. Fuck you, Namco, for not putting in Julia Chang. And my thank you... You know, fuck it. I'm going to go another sweat. It'll be forever a Beyond Good and Evil 2 until that game releases. So for the next five years, my big sweat is Beyond Good and Evil 2. Cool. Right. Thank you, Brad. My hype is... Uh, well, for, I happen to do two hypes. My first hype, not video game related. Movies in July. Yeah, I was going to say that too. Such a good month. Yeah. Fucking, I'm oh. really excited to see Baby Driver on Saturday. That's really good. Spider Man's the following weekend. I'm really excited about Atomic Blonde and War uh, War of Planet of the Apes. All those movies are getting Atomic pretty Blonde. solid. Who's making that? Is that any good? You didn't. What? You didn't mention Valerian. I didn't. City That's because it looks kind of. Luke I Besson? I'm not like super yeah, sold he's on not that. made yet. a good one in a while. Luke Besson? I'll, I'll be hyped for that when I see some good reviews rolling in, but. Yeah. Hopefully it does. Yeah. I, mean, I mean, so far. Uh, Baby Driver, Spider Man, Planet of the Apes, and Hot Blonde all have pretty damn good scores so far. Um, you also should see the Big Sick. I should also see the Big yeah. Sick. That looks pretty good too. Yeah. So I don't know. It's a good, it's a damn good month for uh, for movies. Um, my other hype, video game related. Um, Five Hundred Five Games announced that they're releasing a combo pack of Limbo and Inside together. Ooh. I'm excited to own the, a physical copy of those because you know I like to collect those things. It's dangerous to Limbo Inside. But. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I'm excited to own a physical copy of those games, but I'm also excited because I think I feel like that will give more people, maybe who haven't, maybe people who don't play a lot of games in general or don't use the, the digital services, might walk into a store and see those on a shelf and be like, "Oh, those look interesting," and play them. I don't know. I hope I hope more people get their hands on them because those games are fucking fantastic. Um, my fuck you of the week goes to the leftovers because that show is fantastic. Been watching it, but in two two nights specifically, I was like, "I'm gonna watch an episode of this or two, and then." play some games and it's such a good show but it is so kind of depressing mm -hmm. that it kind of like it actually kind of like rubs off on you uh oh like i was like i i, I watched like two episodes one night and i was like i still had like two hours like i could have sat up and played a video game but i was just like god that's kind of a downer i'm gonna go to bed <laughs> watch and that, Fargo. and that was it um but i will also say that show is fucking phenomenal so i still highly recommend it just be prepared it's a bit of an emotional there's ride. a character from that show that's in fargo season three you mean an actor mm -hmm. actress which one well i guess we don't know um and my thank you is also going to go to both nolan for the new setup and for having us over every week to do the show uh, and Bernadette for these delightful surprises. That's my thank you too. Um, thank you. Also, uh, thank you Nolan. I'm sure. Thank you Nolan and Bernadette for the uh, Super Mario Brothers question block light that I will that will be adorning my uh, my game room at home for my birthday. Appreciate it. And thanks Nick, who's gifting me his uh, signed scale button poster. You're welcome. I think you'll get more out of it than I would. I I I did jerk off to that a few times. I just. I hope you're okay. You can what time of day? Backyard? What time what, of day? What time of day? <laughs> I'm not telling you. In my backyard, though, I'll tell you that. So it wasn't between 9 and 5 because you would be at work there. Or was it? Or was it? You just or... take a picture of it and take it with you and jerk off in your work bathroom? Did anyone watch the movie The the Your Name? Your Name? No, I've been meaning to. Mm -hmm. I heard it's good. I watched it. It's an anime. It's essentially like Freaky Friday. Supposedly really stinking. Yeah, that has like a really, really good Did you really watch dubbed or subbed? 
dubbed. Was the dubbed okay? I always yes. get worried about stuff like no, that. No, it's good. It's good? Yes. All right. All right. Anyways, thank you, everybody, for listening. Uh, I know this is a little bit of a strange podcast. We didn't have a whole lot of specific stuff to talk about, but I hope you guys kind of enjoyed the uh, the first segment. We did something totally different, but hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, we'll be back, of course, next, uh, next week's July. So mm-hmm. July... As I mentioned at the very beginning of the show, we're going to be doing the, sh- uh, the show for the four weeks in July. We'll be doing it on a different night. I think we're I think we're leaning towards Wednesday nights. But we will, we will update everybody and let everybody know. We'll update the calendar. We'll post it on Twitter. It'll be everywhere. So plan on probably seeing us next Wednesday night for another episode of this podcast. In which we'll have games to talk about, I can yeah. assure you. But I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. 4 is the website, of course. Reminder, if there's anything we talked about in the show that you'd like to uh, chime in on or, or, or leave your opinion about, please leave us a comment on the site at 4 We will read that feedback at the beginning of the next episode. And, of course, that enters you in uh, the monthly drawing to uh, win a free game of your choosing. Which reminds me, I need to pick a winner for the month of June. I'll announce that at the beginning of next week's episode. That's all I got. Thank you guys for watching slash listening. We love you guys. Good Discord.gg slash four player. Oh, yeah, shit. Fuck, I went on an entire show without mentioning... I think I'm about re-recording our little intro thing at the beginning and just mm-hmm. sliding that in there because I always forget. Discord.gg slash four player. Please, we'd love to have you in our community Discord. It's free, and all of us are in there. Give you a great opportunity to interact with the community and with us on a daily basis. Please join. Thank yeah. you. Bye, guys. Good night.